What's wrong with you? Huh? You all right? What's going on, fellas? How y'all doing today? Hey, guys. I literally have not said a word. <laughs> I haven't said a word. And yeah. already I'm you being attacked. You have a way of yo. not saying a word. I all, my life I've been, all my life I've been persecuted that all way. All your life you've been trying to fight? <laughs> you had to fight? That too. Okay, Kendrick. That too. How y'all doing, man? Good. Pretty good. Feeling? Pretty good. Good, good. The acoustics of this room is it's different. different. It is. Mm-hmm. So I got to get adjusted. Sounds a little different. It is. Mm-hmm. Sound crazy. Y'all got headphones on. Shit, it sound, sound like I'm nuts underwater. Right now. Shit, sound like I'm underwater. Look at this with his headphones on. He wears headphones all the time. I know. <laughs> and if I say something, he's going to be like, yo, why are you attacking me? <laughs> yo. Honestly. I, I don't want to. <laughs> Who plays victim better than me? Honestly. I'm glad you know. That's a weapon. <laughs> it, it just don't work when I do it. Because <laughs> people uh, presume, presume me to be something... Uh, whatever. It's not about me right now. Play, playing victim is a weapon? Hell yeah. yeah. Is he shitting me? Of course. <laughs> y'all niggas is no, Ill, no who, Now y'all. The girl. <laughs> I don't do that. Oh. Ep- on episode eight of Jocelyn's show, Amber put <laughs> Amber put oh, Amber man. put her hands on Jocelyn. Jocelyn pushed that bitch all the way back. She said, Don't you don't you ever put your hands on me? And then she started checking her, right? And then they cut to the Amber confessional. She started crying. As a black woman, I was like, oh, <laughs> buddy. Oh. <laughs> you can't Start do crying. that in this moment. Mm-hmm. Not in this moment. <laughs> Jocelyn on there throwing apples at people. <laughs> you know, I she, really got subscribed. She is man. a star. I thought the show was over. <laughs> they the, just keep coming out with more shit. That is the best $59 <laughs> ever spent. Oh, and man. I didn't know if I wanted to tell y'all, <laughs> I caught that other little show too on there. <laughs> the bad boys of... <laughs> <laughs> What? what? Hey, what's that? The bad boys of Hollywood, whatever the show is. Who, Natalie Nunch. Oh my oh, God. I am, oh I am God, such bro. a bird. Yeah, yo. you really are. You really <laughs> are. Why do you love yo, birds? Who the stars? Oh yo, my God. It don't matter. I would, I would judge me too if I heard some of these things. But if you watch it, oh, uh, yo, dog, this is the funniest shit. <laughs> hey yo, I try not to judge you. Nah, yeah, yo, I'm yeah. sorry, yo. A little I'm bit of judgment deserves a little bit of judgment. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, look, nigga, no I way. <laughs> Judge Mathis, what the fuck <laughs> are you watching, nigga? All right, yo, forget it, man. Just hey, forget it. Fan. Yeah, just forget it. Hey, yo, these niggas will throw anybody on TV that's just willing to ridicule themselves. But because I'm in TV, Joe, I un. <laughs> oh my god, what is yo, this? Don't worry about it. Because I'm in TV, I watch things from a production. So, yeah, you just said it from like the consumer standpoint, which is, yo, they will throw anybody. No, I said it from both. No, I said it from both. Because I can go. I'm looking at it and saying the same thing I say when I look at all these shows. And I didn't mean to start this way, but we here now. Fuck it. Y'all took all the top viral moment guys, majority of them gay. In this climate, I think it's only two guys admittedly straight on the show, and Kirk Franklin's son is unsure. Because they asked him, and he said, oh, I don't know. Well, nigga, that means something. <laughs> they ask you, yo, would you ever fuck a guy? And you say, oh, it's, uh, I'd rather not. It's, un- oh, it's not confirmed. <laughs> nigga. Kirk Franklin stop? His son. Yes. <laughs> so anyway, they take the top viral guys, they throw them on the show. I don't know what it costs, but they all messy and... <laughs> A lot of them ratchet. And if you just put a camera on certain people, I know this from Joe Budden TV, shit get different. Shit yeah, get different. And yeah, some no, of those true. people, it get real different. We've seen that. that so camera that's come what's on. happening. They got a uh, dude with a money beside, made a money beside, with a money okay. beside. He on there. And it's a great first episode. I'm not here to talk about it, but he on there just beating up people. <laughs> so then somebody had to set it on him. Y'all ain't like how you did that, nigga. <laughs> lying. I'm just telling you something. Anyway. Look, violence just sells. Yeah. All across the world. Yo, ish, yeah. yo, ish. Love it. Ish. <laughs> ish. What? Negativity sells. It ain't just violence. Old just wise one. Yeah, you're right. Negativity. Just put a bunch of motherfuckers in a room mm-hmm. and just let the, the just let the nigga yeah. come out. The jungle. You're right. Mm-hmm. And, and turn the profit. Must be Turn nice. the camera on. Some dope shit. <laughs> Some stupid. I see what you're doing. That's a contrast thing. Like you wear the fear of God shit, but you still do that. <laughs> still, you still drop wise, older wisdom. Like shut the. You in fear of God? You just a heathen. And we, and we hear it all. <laughs> oh man, here we go, yo. All right. <laughs> Microphone <laughs> check. One, two. What is this? Joe Button. I, 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 I know 
so daddy. Spark. 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 Welcome to episode 520 of the Joe Budden Podcast. I'm your humble, gracious, grateful, and highly favored host, Joe Budden, here with a few of my nearest and dearest, and there's a lot of y'all here today, or it just looks that way, because I'm looking at more of you. Yeah. We see everybody. That's yeah. what yeah. it is. Mm-hmm. That's what it is. Uh, Parks is here. Ish is here. Ice is here. Uh, Timestamp Killer is here. Erickson is here. Thank the Lord. And last but certainly not least, Alex is here, and I'm looking at everyone. <laughs> it's a little different. Yeah, it's mad, mad. We ain't got to say, yo, young boys, y'all good? We can just we can see that y'all are good. Y'all are good. Y'all are good. Y'all, yeah, doing y'all are good. good. All right, right to the business. We are going on tour. Tickets are on sale right now. April 28th, we are going to Houston. A hey, round of applause. I'll have a guest or two, I think. Sure. Some tells me I'll have the same guest or two in Dallas. <laughs> we got Dallas on May 1st. We got L.A. May 28th. And we have Oakland May 29th. Hope to see all of you there. Can't wait. Should be exciting. It's been long enough. It's been a few years. Can't wait to get back in front of the people, especially with these guys. Can't wait to see you. Buy your tickets now in your phone. Blah, 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 blah. JoeButtonPodcastTour.com. JoeButtonPodcastTour.com. Get Cop it. it. Cop it. And we'll see y'all see soon. See y'all there. Man. We'll see y'all soon. Now, how's everybody feeling? Straight. What's Pretty going good. on? We're we're at a we're at a remote <laughs> location. location. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's important to know. <laughs> Looks good though. Why are you looking around? <laughs> you know, like you ain't been here before. I, I been know. a long time. Yeah. Y'all heard that little snippet the voice played? Nah. That song? I did. You talking? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, where that snippet at? <laughs> no, I got to find. That's it. what that was about. Cause I woke up I'm this morning. I had a missed FaceTime from Royce at like midnight. I'm like, fam, I'm asleep. First off, <laughs> but let me go. Okay. This was a couple nights ago, I think, though. Oh, all right. And I don't know what that was about. Let me I mean, that. not to say that it couldn't have been about the same thing or something. I don't know. No, where's that snippet at? It's on his page. Coming at <laughs> Yoda came in right there. He would. <laughs> Yoda came in right there. I ain't gonna Yo, hold you. But Yoda, that, Yoda came in right there. Why? 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 Why is he post? Why do you think he posted this? Why you think? Like, I don't let, yeah, he, we don't have to read into it too yeah, much. Yeah, we, we know. We know Royce. Why you think he posted that? He, yeah, Royce better <laughs> stop, yo. He better stop, man. You know, I think all the rappers is like our own Marvel universe. I feel like he's fucking doing that shit. He, Stop, stop, yo. No, he is. He, Dr. Strange, he's 100% doing that shit. Yeah. Come snatch you. You know and when take Cyclops fucking mastered the glasses and he just started coming outside, just <laughs> like, <laughs> chill, man. Because I feel like he's trying to tell me to do something right there. That's one of your little type of. Yeah, but stop. Yeah, man. but. That it, don't need 139 bars from me. <laughs> I'd have a lot to say on the top. <laughs> and then, it, and then, see, that's cheating, though. Ah, oh, yo, retirement is like having a big joke. I just thought about that. You, Re- you know what retirement is like? You want. It's like going to jail Monopoly. Like, you know how niggas made that a weapon? At the end? Because mm-hmm. yeah. mm-hmm. you can really pop out, and go get roar. some shit off, <laughs> and go right back. And never talk again. Word. <laughs> you just steal a nigga, pop, oh, and run yeah, back in the oh, house. Oh, yeah, I'll put 200 bars <laughs> on the Royce record again. Right to back to potting. <laughs> Holy shit. And I ain't got to do nothing. Royce did everything. Yeah. <laughs> nigga made the beat, the hook. Sung it. The all you flow. gotta do, all you gotta do is what you soulful, do best. Oh, right. Soulful oh, shit. I ain't know what he did. That little cheating motherfucker, man. A little soulful. He shit. did that that's for a, a reason. That's a good nigga right there, boy. That's my man, man. Anyway, how we doing, man? Good, good. You gotta man. stop, yo. I wouldn't even be mad at it. 
I know that sounds wild coming from me, but and that was a nice little open yeah, line. That sounded a too. little. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, and I did the same. Oh, yeah. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> no, that's the question. Keep it, keep it a buck. Oh, H- how many? <laughs> how many? I know, I, I know I did, you did I it. didn't call him for a reason though. But I just want to know how many. Because I feel like stop, nigga. Nah. How many? He'd have to remix it. <laughs> it, it, it what I was doing can't be the track. <laughs> It's not can't be a song. Everybody would get it on this record. <laughs> All of them. Everyone, if you're thinking it's you, it's you on this record. And I'm out again. Don't ask me nothing. I'm not replying to nothing. I, I'm I not doing I interviews. I'm not selling nothing. Oh, that's hilarious. No, nah, I, I want to know, though. I know you can. I just want to how many bars you came up with. Already? Yeah. None. <laughs> yeah, right. None at all. Yo, who believe? Yeah, we all know none, you bullshit. None, I didn't. I didn't loop that. <laughs> <laughs> and he left a little bit of beat right there. He put the hook right there. Anyway, come on, man. And as you know, what's funny. <laughs> Joke on rap on that go. shit. Nah, I can hear the last yeah. line. You just coming right? Oh. Yeah, that's the point. He know what he did, yo. He know what he did. And I told Crook and Joel when we talked. <laughs> come on, Joe. You know if you was rapping. You know, if you was rapping, you'd have been sick. I said, hey, dog, you, y'all two don't even have to broach that one. Both you two niggas sitting here no good and goddamn well. That shit wouldn't have lived for a day. Anyway, come on, man. That's my guys. That's my guy. All right, what we doing? What we talking about? Oh, what we talking about? How we feeling? Went out last night, had a blast. Oh, yeah. Oh, my Lord. Oh my lord! I was gonna hit you the other night because I went to Mermaids. I saw the uh, I saw the, the food truck. I went. Oh my god, the guy! <laughs> but I was a couple hours late the on, the, on, the, on the check in on the Instagram, and I was like, "Damn, man, no, he's probably gone." No, I would have hit you, but uh, it wasn't uh, the greatest night at Mermaids that night, and, nah. that was, and that was my third that night. So it's that night there. But the other nights at Mermaids, great. But that gyro, <laughs> that little truck. I shout out to my guys, man. <laughs> I ain't paid for a gyro since <laughs> since I've been over there. <laughs> Look at the little things that that's, yo, the, that's the best. That's thing. all it takes. A little gyro, a little that's free gyro. Celebrityism, you know? You? No, see, you know why that interests me, right? My worth is much is worth way more than a gyro. <laughs> I'm clear on that, and I might even be pronouncing it right. Is it gyro? Uh, yeah, depends on who you ask. Well, it's it, it, from Nork. It, it's gyro. Is it Tarje? <laughs> <laughs> Important but, question. But anyway, my worth is is. Is a little more than a free meal. That was a mermaid. And I'll pay for it, right? <laughs> but if people are just kind, you take it. Then it's it appreciate. feels good. Yeah. 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 Kindness always feels That's good. That's appreciation. It does. It does. Uh-huh. it does. I gotta get better. I gotta be kinder. She was kind. <laughs> Now this is that 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 that's that's that is <laughs> you know how you know you know you know you know it is a work wife. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Like if there were such thing as a strip club wife, it's her. Like I damn near, she's probably one. She's probably she might be top four baddest strippers in New York dancers right now. Look at me, clip riding. Anyway, clip. <laughs> <laughs> Cause it's nothing worse than being in a spot surrounded by just misery and pain, and then some some walk out their back. <laughs> Yo, mood. You're surrounded Yo, by mood misery just... and pain. Yeah. Why are you in a, what, what misery and pain is in a strip club? It'd be some miserable nights. Me and you had shared one. Yeah, dog. Oh, Come gotcha. On. Okay. Come on. Okay. Don't don't make me be the person. No, 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 no. I didn't I didn't I got it. I got it. Yeah, we've a definitely... dark a dark, gloomy strip club night and something mm. just walk out the back. And like the a sun, light bulb. And the sun started walk, shining. Walk, walked out late too. She didn't need to be out there early with you, the rest of with you. With the rest of you, yeah. I'll, I'll get my money when the when the money comes in. Oh my God, Jesus! <laughs> oh, why do you love birds? All right, but anyway, oh my God. On 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 the more important things to uh to discuss because people have been hitting me like crazy saying, "Oh, I can't wait for you to break all this down." And I've been looking at my phone. I've been busy all week. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. But, huh? I'm I'm lost lost yeah, I'm yeah. right. uh, well, they were talking about all the Meg stuff. Oh, okay. Wait, what else, what else happened? Who, who else unfollowed? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the unfollow really is news. But no, they, uh, there was a back and forth. Uh, well, apparently she was just going off. She was going off. Yeah, she On got, whom? Also, she started the, 
I don't know who started it. I'm not placing blame. I'm not, I'm not doing none of that. I'm just reporting it as I know it. And as I caught it, her and Carl Crawford had, uh, had okay. an exchange. Label, label beef. Yeah, label beef. Okay. They've been having this beef. Yeah. But they both were vocal about it yesterday or whatever day that was. Well, because they're going through some uh, litigation, right? Yeah, I, she, she's trying to get off the label. Right. And you don't want her off the label. Naturally. So, yeah, they went at it on, uh, I think hers was on Twitter. I saw, like, her going on a rant. Like, messy dudes, um, you didn't pay me. Your beef isn't with me. It's with 300. Just let me go. Things of that nature. And then the name calling came out. And I was a little, I got a little chuckle out of the name call. Who, who called who who? Both of them. Yeah, both. Can we, can we get the drug addicts, nah, I'm chilling. I'm, I'm, I don't want the stallions upset with me. So, gosh, gotcha, yeah, gotcha. I'm chilling. I did enjoy it though. Well, that would make them upset at you. What? That I enjoyed it? <laughs> no, I enjoyed the whole thing. <laughs> she got her shit off toe. All of it. All right. Where do I begin with this to update people that are not in the know? Carl, uh, Carl, I don't want to be signed. I'm not gonna read that. <laughs> See. Uh, you talking about I ain't pay? Well, hey, give me something to read. Uh, you you talking shit to me like I got your fucking money? You are attacking me. Why? Because you want to be famous, not rich. Ask Kevin Lyles where your stupid money at. See, ish. This is where our conversation last week about Meek and mixtape EP album comes into play mm-hmm, again. Mm-hmm. I I'm, I'm not sure what is at the center of their dispute, but she's trying to get away from him. He has paperwork on her mm-hmm. that says whatever it says, but she he has that paperwork. However they ponied it up, they seem to have worked something out between all parties involved in <clears> that, <throat> which is Rock Nation, which is 300, which is you name it. Whomever. Uh, whomever. But, it, but it's all worked out. So what I gather from what Meg is saying is don't yo don't even talk to me about this. Like talk to the people that you've been talking to. Talk to the people that are handling this. This is not a you and I thing anymore. To which I understand that. I understand that. Yeah, um, that's definitely fair. We all have lawyers and representation. Y'all figure that out. Yeah, figure it out. That's what they're supposed to do. That's what your people are for. Right. I don't know what like, Yeah, but when you say that, that. but when you say that you got to know what you're saying. You're saying, yo, whatever you think I owe you, go holler at go holler at the top seven minds in all the music and deal with it. That's what it's saying. <laughs> but because because from what I read from her um, part of her rant, um, the, the EP or something that went out, they agreed to count it as an album. This goes back to our previous conversation. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, that's okay. why I was bringing yeah, it up. Yeah, and it's not. She's like, yo, you signed the deal with 300. So if you're missing some money or something, like y'all worked out what was going to count as an album, EP, whatever, go talk to them. I don't owe you no bread. And that's kind of what she kept saying. I don't owe you no money. Like, I, I'm if I'm an artist on your label, you're technically supposed to be paying me, not me pay you. Right. She did say that. So that's what it seems like the root is. I, but again, this this was yeah, kind of out there. Yeah, but nah, the that's just based off assumption. Because yeah. if I'm the production company, nah, you owe me a check. You and all your business partners, y'all know what time it is. Y'all owe me a check. Meg said, "Yo, uh, you signed off on the last project, meaning mm-hmm. you know it was an album." And he's saying, "Yeah, but it came out as a mixtape. <laughs> that's what it came out as. We're not done. We still have business." So it gets messy, and they've been messy. Mm-hmm. I don't want to report on it because I don't know. I don't know all. I don't know all the facts. It would just be opinions, but it's messy. I tell you that much. Yeah, it seemed like this ain't going nowhere for a while. Either. Yeah, it's a little ugly. Like you would think, once it's in court, that y'all will let court deal with it, but that's not even happening. Seems to never go that way, does it? What the court shit? Yeah. People get emotional. And he's talking about stars. So stars going to be stars. So they take to the gram or the twit 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? And niggas want to get their twit off. I don't, I don't, I don't even understand Did that. Cause I think that twit? hurts. <laughs> niggas want to get their twit. Look, old niggas, niggas get their twit off, not their shit off. They get their twit off. I see what you. Ah, uh, okay. I see what you're cool. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't quite get that. Like, if you have your peoples and y'all are already in court, you shouldn't be speaking on shit. No, I would tend to agree, but I've seen it that go this sense. way. More, More times than I've seen it yeah, go the other way. Yeah, yeah. It's, t- it's taking too long to get the resolution you want. Right. So I'm going to jump out here and say something. But right. you could be fucking your case up. You could be. Or you should just shut up. Yeah. Because you might even let a nigga know that you know something. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And then now they like, oh shit. Let me go. Uh-huh. Make that go away or whatever the case may be. I think I don't care too much to report on the story because we keep seeing the same story from everybody. I, I like to report on when they find the solution to this, but they never really give us the solution when they find it, right? No. Like it's the mm-hmm. same thing Uzi was going through with drama, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. There's a few. There's a few more of y'all that are going through this that I won't say. It's a lot of them. A lot of people. Yeah, a lot of people I'm, are going through it, but they keep the solution quiet. And maybe if that didn't happen, then people would have learned something. I mean, the solution a lot of times would be somebody getting paid off or bought out with an NDA attached. You're not going to get that information. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to know nothing about the, the, the results of the settlement. If it's me, right? Because I want to take this off of them. If it's me. And, and you've gone through some of these struggles, as we outlined on the uh, last pod. Being signed to a production company, being signed to a label. And, and that's why I, I, it's, uh, it's tough for me to have certain empathy when some of these stories come across because a lot of the, a lot of us good artists that have gotten fucked in our careers last decade, like last, last, two decades. Oh, Jesus. Mm-hmm. Two decades. The, the verbiage was so different then. True. It was so well. Different. I don't. I think they're trying to give a lot of the same shit off now, even though the the, the business model is very different. The business model different, but when it's somebody that one knows and one has. When no I came idea. in, you would have never seen these a new artist have this leverage ever. Right. Ever. Yeah, because of the social media era. But I think a lot of the contract language is still similar to what was happening, even in the physical world. They could become stars without. Music. Right. You get what I'm saying? But so when they exactly. sign to a major label or production company. I'm talking, I'm taking it off of music. They become personalities. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Whereas when you came out, your music spoke for you and then you became a person. These motherfuckers could have one song and be damn near household names because of social media. They'll start getting a file. It could be ba- based on the way they dress. It could be based on TikTok. A big, it could be based on their antics. Uh-huh. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Yeah, and social true. media, and they'll blow up. And so now once you blow up, you're getting ad money over here. You're getting ad money over there, and you start using that as leverage. But I think where the conflict is happening, what I'm saying is that I think a lot of the contract languages and practices and quote-unquote standards are still the same as they were when it was dependent on moving a CD and... He was talking about leverage. Artist. Yeah. Like, he was talking about leverage. I'm saying... I'm I talking think about all of it. They brand yeah. themselves outside of music. Right. Right. And so you could still get bags. So you got you me on the papers check. over here for yeah. music, but, but I could know still who? go get a check. I could go make a shitload of money doing everything Other else thing. but music. Right, right, right. And now I'm going to back and strong arm you. That's smoke and mirrors. You think so? Smoking mirrors. Maybe not financially. It's, it's, it's a myth. Y'all are right, but it's a myth. Give Financial. Me the, give me the person that has done that away from their backing, away from the label support, away from their big management team support. Well, no. Give me well, the person that came out, got all of that leverage, and then continued to remain profitable, stepping away from the machines. Nah, what we saying is they come out and and whether it be like a production company, small label, something of that sort, and once they blow up, they get with the company that has the big machine who put you everywhere else and then use that leverage to snatch you away from the little dude. Oh, yeah. yeah big yeah, bang, yeah, take like, low bang. Yeah, or not yeah. just that. That's I, what we, you, that can't, you can't starve me musically. Right. Because I could go get money over here. I could go get money over here. I don't got to put no album out. I'm making money from these particular vices. So you can't really use the the old school... We just not gonna let you drop. We ain't gonna let you drop. Remember, I remember when back in the day you was trying to put your album out when you was going through your Def Jam shit, or actually 
you did your album, but you ain't give it to him. Some shit. I forgot. But <laughs> I, was, I was always a disruptor. <laughs> yo, but what I'm saying is that was your primary source of income. Oh, no, yeah, I was fucked. So had social media been how it is today, you could have went and got a bag from over here. You could have potentially went and got a bag from over there. I could have. No, you could have got a bag to I feed yourself. I could have, but it's a myth. You might have got rich. They control everything. I'm not saying, I'm saying you might not have gotten rich, but you could have still got bags. Small bags, possibly, 2500 3500 here, there. To, to bags still. to survive, and now yeah. you're under the same conditioning that nine to five working class people are. I ain't, I don't know. I'm just saying. And that's not a slight. It's but, not a slight at all. But the government has us all working and slaving away most of our lives mm -hmm. just to live. Survive. Uh -huh. So now we got to all go crazy when gas prices are high. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I sound stupid saying, hey, well, we need the gas. Well, no, nah, that's privilege. Some, some niggas got to do without the gas. Well, that says <laughs> shit is fucked up. <laughs> If we can't get beer, basic, that's good. Yeah, gas. when you making life decisions, I said this at the last pod. We was laughing, but uh -huh. my nigga, when you got to put gas on layaway until your check comes, yeah. Yeah. that's crazy to me. It is. I saw a dude post a video. He he was walking out and he caught somebody trying to siphon gas out his truck. I saw it. Ro Royce posted it. He, oh yeah, Royce did. Post Royce, it. He was Royce like, posted. Yo, my man, fuck you doing? And the dude was like, Yo, my bad, bro. I I, I just needed a little bit of gas to get out the street. But that's what it's come to. Niggas is out here running around siphoning gas. Oh, yeah, yeah. He should have got his ass siphoned. Yeah. Well, so I definitely would have punched the shit out of him. Hey, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're, Don't they're, his they're, ass. They're running around like they're running around like star makers. Actually, you and I were the ones that had this debate back in the day when we did what we do. Rihanna and Keisha Cole. We yes. was having whatever conversation that was about uh, who makes a star and what it, all of that, right? But back then, when I came in, they. They picked who they wanted to be a star. I'm sure. And that's who got the resources and the funding mm -hmm. and the, the rights to the real great producers, the great songwriters. Uh -huh. The hits that came in the door was going to them. Mm -hmm. The deals that came to the lawyers was going to them, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But they were picked. Like, the talent played a part, but it wasn't the biggest part. Mm -hmm. And you fast forward to today, and it's more of that. When you look at the people that are winning and the people that are getting these deals that you're talking about, they are people that are being chosen. There are far less, there are way less triple X's who took his audience, understood his audience, was a rebel disruptor, doing it different. I'm not signing a deal. Y'all offered it. I'm going to do it this way. Luckily for his family. Because now he goes and his family it's still owns, be able to owns, owns everything. Shit. Yeah. And he yeah. was a baby. Rest yeah, in peace, triple X, my guy. But that's what I'm saying. Like, if what y'all was saying were, was... If people thought it was so common or so easy or so doable, we would see more of it. We don't because it's controlled. And not only that, and you have, to, I think a lot of people are afraid too. And you That's have to fear, learn yo. that. And you have to learn that. You got to go through it. Like you was there when I was going through the album shit, right? Common sense would tell me, all right, you got to, you got to get it another way. All right, now you're trying to get in these venues, and then you learn from the venues. Oh shit, it's a chain here. Got to come from two. Yeah. Oh y'all got it. It's Monopoly again, but it's, I, it's Monopoly. I'm I'm running around without owning shit. So everywhere I land, I pay. I'm fucked. Yeah. So that, and that's how I end up giving away my rights and my ownership. I have a hundred percent of the pie. But now everywhere I go, what good is all this money? Mm -hmm. If everywhere I go, I got to pay out. So you can help me on the radio I here. Know. Take three yeah. percent. Pars can help me on the, on the uh, ads, promo, marketing, what whatever shows, live venue. Here, take a little bit over here. Oh, you got a production crew that get busy, a content, how y'all gonna give me the content, I can post, blah, 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 blah. cool. Oh, you got the, this on lock, the streets over here, I need protection. Uh -huh. I, by the time I get to, after the label take theirs, this person to publish it, take theirs, I'm down to about 10% of my own shit. Mm -hmm. oh. And now, I'm, as I gotta learn about taxes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, I gotta get the information after I already made the decisions? Oh, you gotta get the fuck out of here. I don't know how we went on this tangent, but... That's what I think of when I see these things. Meg has to continue to produce so everybody could be happy. Tough spot to be in. It's a tough spot to be in. I would agree. Yeah, it's a lot of pressure on her. And from what I was so, saying before. And you fucking right that I would be looking back on some old contracts and say, hey, mm -hmm. who getting paid what for where? Wait, what they doing now? Wait, how long that's going to be? 
no, I need a little more. And then when you look at it and see that they were trying to, st- like, no, you can't put no more music out. Mm-hmm. Like, they were trying to block her releases at that point. So it's like, damn, you trying to make the money off me. You won't want me to drop. I can't move. Like, yeah, you get some fucking frustration setting in. But wait, no, see, because I understand fuck? his side too. And I won't stay here too long. But if I signed you and now you go blow up, I'm, hey, you got to pay me every time you land somewhere. Hey, you went and blew up. I have you signed. Hey. That deal that you went and cut with this company, you shouldn't have did it. <laughs> that other deal that you went and cut with that company, oh, you shouldn't have did that neither. Hey, and these big companies are saying, fuck me. Because I'm a little Get company. down and lay down. Mm-hmm. So now I got to go get with J Prince. I got to go get backing. Like, I understand this side as well, yo. It's nasty. Yeah. It is. It's nasty. It's very nasty. Prayers to all involved. Indeed. I don't want to poke my head in nobody's contractual business. This is how people feed their families. It's a real, it's a real thing, and it's real money involved, especially when you understand it. And it's a lot That's of people why. and a lot of families getting fed. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's hard to be like, oh, he's the bad guy or she's the bad guy when everyone's trying to eat. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, when I came in, they told me, Skane told me, one, one a hit song feed a million families, something like that. Uh, I didn't understand it at the time. It just sounded cool. Million people, maybe. He said a million families. Even if the number's off, yeah. who cares? Right. It's, it's the concept, a, yeah. It's a, it's, it's a conceptual thing. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, but it's not until you start learning just how many people eat off of one song. I don't understand NFT yet, but I, I think I got an idea. It's similar somehow. <laughs> a lot of people eat off one record. Yeah, I believe that. Huh? That's a lot of real a hit, estate. Like a hit? Yeah, I believe that. One one of them megas. Should we used to tell a story? I think the guy that said he owned like owned like oh uh, damn what was that Usher story on Confessions with we said he let the producer get half a point or something off one of the records, and then he sold like ten million <laughs> records, and he started talking about the check that came. Fifty Cent it. said Fifty Cent gave a story where he offered somebody um like a half a point off of some shit uh-huh. and on a uh, on Get Rich. I think it was Massacre. That was the second one, right? Yeah, Massacre was I second. think it was the Massacre. He's, or it might have been Giverich. He offered to do the point because he could, he really couldn't pay him. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? He offered mm-hmm. the nigga a, a half a point on some shit and the shit sold 10 million albums. It was 50 grand worth versus 30 grand. He offered the nigga like 30 grand and a half a point and the dude was like, no, I want my 50 grand. And the dude took the 50K. Like they got the 50K somehow and 50 was saying, yo, you stupid motherfucker, you would have been up, up. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like you would have been up. Some people don't up. have the foresight like to see that though. True. Yeah. I just want the money. Mm-hmm. You know, some people don't have the. the it had to, to been get what, rich yeah. though, because by massacre you would know who would not Or and he would have had enough bread. But yeah. get rich. It yeah. probably had it to be get, get rich because he had he had enough bread at, yeah. when that massacre dropped. But um, I think today, like you was talking about today, I think niggas is learning about equity versus mm-hmm. the cash out. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So people are starting to go that route a little bit more, even the youngsters. That's fucking the game up too, though. It uh, is, because you got to be careful with that shit. fucking the game sir, up too. Everybody don't recoup. I don't, you know. Don't it's, know making, it's making things trendy to talk about. Mm-hmm. That's true too. It's making people just say things that they I, don't I agree. quite I understand. understand. I would agree. Not all. Don't think I'm being like some type of dick. But there are a lot of people mm-hmm. just... Dog, you see it across, it, it, and so social media be a gift and a curse. Yeah. Even in crypto, even in, like, niggas be like, oh, yeah, I'm buying such and such. Nigga, that shit is trash. <laughs> and you out here pushing it, it's trash. Right. In real estate, motherfuckers got all type of flipping shows and real estate shows, and they telling you, oh, you could buy this fucked up house. Oh, you're going to spend 30 grand, 40 grand. No, you're not, nigga. Right. You're going to spend 140 grand to renovate this piece of shit. You're not going to get in here and just buy some doors and put some paint on the walls and sell it for 100 grand profit. That's not going to happen. Right. So misinformation and information they they a gift and a curse. Back to the back to the 50 example, if he went gold or even sold 250,000 copies, which is way more artists that do that than sell 10 minute 10 million, mm-hmm. that extra 20 grand would have been way more worth it than the half a point. You understand what I'm saying? Like every everything isn't mm-hmm. you shouldn't seek equity in everything. Got you. So it's a and everybody isn't built for equity. You should seek equity if you can afford to not take game. take the check. Yeah, that's when you seek equity. Well, you gotta have a little foresight on what you're. Seeking but I'm just equity saying, like, if, if I'm up to the point where 
I could accept that half a point or whatever. And if it turns into absolutely nothing, I don't, it don't bother me. Then I'm all right with That's it. That's what I think a lot like of you the can't young hang your hat on it. Like this is it. I'm get, like a lot of people jumped into that crypto. And when all that AMC GameStop shit started happening, I seen people getting fucked up just or for, for FOMO, fear of missing out. Yeah. You see everybody else talking about it. And it's like, oh, let me do this. Oh, y'all making money over there. Well, guess what? I'm going to go get every dime I got and place this quote unquote safe bet. And you three days late, nigga. Nah, shout out. And to you too late. Nah, <laughs> you three days late, dog. Nah, shout out to Reddit. They did that shit, yo. <laughs> they did. Yes, nah, they did. That was, that, was, that was great. That was they powerful. Did. That was ill, man. That was dope. Are they still doing it over there? That was dope. That? I, I haven't heard a story like that happen since then. Nah, you won't. Shut that shit down. Chill for a minute. The government picked up the little bad phone and called, <laughs> called the little special. Trading they apps. Hey, they shut that shit down. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's Robin true. Hood they did. We not trading this. Hey, y'all don't, yeah, don't, yeah. Hey, y'all don't count. <laughs> yeah, y'all ain't supposed to play this game like that. Yeah, fuck true. y'all doing? They did shut down all the. Uh, this game ain't for no, They did it yeah. fast though. Yeah, they did fast immediately. I'm telling you, if anybody just in America just said, you know, I'm not going to work for for a week. But watch the like, John Stewart. It, it wasn't even a government thing. It was the the wealthy that shut that shit down. Go watch that John Stewart thing I talked to you about. It was. It was. No, it was. Um, two of the biggest funds in the world was heavily, heavily, heavily backed by that. Well, they own the biggest funds that run all the shit, own the fucking apps, the Robin Hoods and all that shit. So once they saw that they're going to take an L on this shit... What started like, happening was they said, like, the payout at the at the call point was, like, negative $5 billion. Like, yo, and the more motherfuckers kept buying it, they would have been 10 15 $20 billion in, and so they had to stop it. Yeah. Like, they had to stop the bleeding of the nose before that shit turned crazy. But I think it's bullshit. Yeah, of course. It's some terrible shit. It's really the powers that be. Yeah. Like, nigga, y'all said do this. This is right. how we can make money. Yeah, but, but now spo- you're not supposed to when know. When y'all start losing money, y'all cut the water off, and that's some bullshit. Yeah, you're yeah. not supposed to know. That game is for us to play, Yeah, and we manipulate it, and we win as we see fit. Mm-hmm. It's not for the common man to come in here and start caking up. No, nigga, what you doing? No, turn that off. That's exactly how Amazing. it goes. Oh, wait, they, they caught on to it. Yo, yo, wrap all this shit up. We out of here. In see, reverse. <laughs> and they did it in reverse in my brain. That's more the reason why they target hip hop that way. Because outside of hip hop, they definitely ain't want to see all these young millionaires pop up out of never. nowhere. No, as, 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 no, especially never. black. Never. That's one. And and two. learning about ownership at the same time. I yeah. want to see what they're gonna do. Like, wait, wait, y'all wait, getting, all, on, y'all on, getting on, all this money. Let me finish my point. So 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 where so where if I'm them, where, what am I tracing this back to? <laughs> I'm tracing it back to hip hop or hip hop culture where this information is spreading and where this wealth is being spread. So yeah, I'm gonna get rid of some of these niggas. They, I want to see. They can't get rid of it. In and that makes sense as to why we come in here and report on a rapper death every other pot. <laughs> well, it slowed down recently. Thank Could God. Could be. Thank God. Knock on wood. That's my that's my conspiracy theory. Yeah, I want to see um how they stop it in sports because they can't. Like to what Ice was saying, like KD and these niggas be putting their money in everything now. Because mm-hmm. they got so much money that if it don't hit, it's a write off. And if it do hit, woohoo. Oh, you you starting some shit? Oh, you need two million? Oh yeah. But you're saying how do they stop it in sports? I'm saying the the powers that be. These niggas is making so much money in sports, dog. Like if you take the top twenty five NBA players, like barring injury, all of them should be billionaires before they damn near retire. You're talking that. You get what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. they gonna find a way to shut this down. It's too many young black people getting money on a different level of money. It's, and it ain't just wait, the money wait, 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 because this is full circle back to my smoke and mirrors. It's a myth point. They're getting the money that they're being allowed to get. I'm, I agree with that. But once they allow you, like... Like you saying, what are, what are they going to do in sports? I'm thinking they don't have to do nothing in sports because they got the force field over their whatever their prized possession is. Mm-hmm. Like... They're not going to let no black person come in and own a football team without running it by the 29, 31 other people. Right. Except 19 of them might be racist. They're all 90 years old. Hey, we we good. We no, got no, a board. No, no, no. We got a history. Colin, hey, Colin Kaepernick got more time uh, for taking a knee than a whole lot of other shit going on. We know how they feel. They you make the sentiment main known. point you said? What? Give it to me. They're 90 years old. That's the most important thing you said. They're 90 years old. And new white culture fucks with us. It's cool to fuck with the blacks. I think it's a myth. I don't. I think the, the Meek Mill no, running no, no, around no, 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 with no, no, these no, niggas I and all. Wait, wait, stop. Because yo. I don't want to sound like that. What you're saying is, is correct. I think on the flip side of that coin, the old racist fucks 
are raising racist kids some are raising racist some grandkids. Some some not all. It's a lot of progression Hope, happening. Not. Them, them white we'll daughters do. is giving out some black blowjobs, my nigga. Be clear. <laughs> I'm just fam. I'm just telling you. No, as they funny are. as funny as that, that, that is, that as funny as that is, because that's hilarious. Like that was I wanted. Hold they up. are. They, that, they, that don't equate to love. <laughs> it don't. Right. You know what it equates to though. And this is before y'all start killing me. I'm not saying. No, that, I think this is a great no, conversation. No, no, no. By the before way, before y'all yeah. start killing me, I'm not saying that this is what we should be aiming for. But when you suck in black dick, pause. You are more accepting of it. You're not just totally against. So when we be like, "Oh, y'all niggas," you talking that. about like in Godfather Harlem. Yes. So, but guess what happens? Generational, it starts to break down. Because now my kids going to school with the racist nigga kids. And whatever you instilled in me for the last 18 years, I'm starting to get a different view of my cool ass roommate here. over here. So for some year it stays, but then for some it does not. When the Italian chicks are sneaking off with the black dudes, they starting to be more accepting of it. So financially, when you can't stop these niggas from getting to a certain bag, after a point when Steph Curry retires and he's 45 and fucking... Uh, LeBron is 45 You not gonna be able to stop them From pooling their resources together And buying a team You are not It's gonna be more and more of that Because they money gonna be so long That you are not gonna be able to stop it When Jay Z starts spearheading this And you got Puff over here And you got this one over here And you got and that this, one That's where our classic fight come in As much money as Jay Z got Is some art that's well, not for sale to him I agree with you <laughs> I'm just saying this Now we gonna circumvent that Cause I'm gonna make Parks buy it Oh, then I mean, you get what I'm I saying? Guess. Yo, that Parks, that Parks that gonna be the head of the blah 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 organization that's spearheading the the purchase of the Dodgers, i.e. Magic. You get what I'm saying? So I'm gonna partner up with some white boys, and even yeah, though we shouldn't have to, that's an option. That's how we gotta yeah, do it. That's totally an option. Parks gonna be the face. I do it, of course. I know a lot of people to do it. Look, that's totally an option. Parks don't even like sports, but he got. But two. I'm not gonna call that Black Wall Street. I'm not either. What I'm saying is this. Parks don't even like basketball. Yes, he does. Listen, He's hypothetically oh. speaking. Parks don't like basketball. He got 20 million, right? Like, we got like the only Pacers fan I know or something. <laughs> Look, <laughs> shut up, man. Go Pacers. I do not like the Pacers. Look, he and, got they got, and they got a young squad over they here. Nice. No, they nice. Came back. Yo, Parks likes the pay. I mean, Larry Bird. Parks got 20 billion. Me and you got 100 billion apiece. They might not let us in. They're going to let Parks in. So Parks going to buy the team. You can't tell Parks now that he can't sell some of his majority stake to us for a premium. And that's how you got to circumvent the game to get in. Niggas did it. What's the movie with fucking um, Anthony Mackie and Samuel L. Jackson? When a nigga was All of them. No. The banker. The banker. And that's what they that's did. Exactly they what taught they did. a fucking white boy How all his financial shit. verbiage and all his financial jargon that he didn't know. And the nigga damn near bought all of Los Angeles. The niggas owned the biggest, um, and it's a true story. Mm -hmm. The niggas owned the fucking biggest building downtown Los Angeles. They was going to banks to get money. They was turning them down. And the nigga was like, we going to buy the building that all the banks is in. And they did it. They had motherfucking the wife in there acting like the cleaning lady. They had mad shit going on. You just used the white boy as the scapegoat to get your, get your shit done. Now, should they have had to have to do that? No. To all of y'all that's going to say the bullshit. No, they shouldn't have had to have to do that. But now you got to just be resourceful. So, no, Jay-Z making... You get your foot in the door, and that's how you change the game. There you, bro. Go. you can't change it from outside. And there you go. So, if I got to play the game that way to get in the door... Mm -hmm. It's 600 billionaires in the United States, my nigga. 600. And pretty soon, it's going to be more and more and more black people on that list every two, three years. So yeah. now we're going we gonna, we gonna to dance. I reply to you guys with the Tyler Perry Award speech. I'm done with y'all. Look at what he said, though. That speech speaks for itself. He said, yo, back in the day, he said, my family was sold on this land or some slavery shit. Mm -hmm. Now I came back to buy the whole fucking plot. And then he went on to speak to, hey... Y'all keep fighting to get a seat at their table instead of making a table. I know. You need... And I'm not arguing against none no, of No, I'm just yo. saying you Every, need resources to make the a, table. Both yeah. things are perfectly yeah, acceptable yeah, business models. Yeah, you yeah, know what I'm saying? That's, like, that's what I'm saying. It's really nothing to debate. Right. right? 
Get to that, it. That's the right it. way. Yeah, that's the right way. I say that too. Fuck they table. I'm talking about in certain games that they own, if you want to be a part of it. They own all of them. And as you get older, you get mad. I just got mad driving up 34th Street on the way here looking to the side. Okay, pizza spot. Okay, Chinese spot. Okay, bodega. Okay, big clothing store. Okay, we got Macy's. We got... We ain't got shit. <laughs> we can't. Mm -hmm. We just ain't got a fucking thing, no. So It's disgusting. Put some money behind somebody and have them make some oxtail on 34th, nigga. You got money. You know how much oxtail costs? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not the business I'm model right yeah, now. Yeah, Imagine yeah, it's, it's tell me to Look, get into all the businesses that would have me crumble. That would have you rich. <laughs> that would have you rich. No, you told me to go to the strip club. I just how think it's so much liability. How many there. thousands you spend in there? A few. And there you go. I told you fuck with real... Yo, shut up, man. I be giving you some gems. You gave him the one about the lounge. Yo, I get a nigga mad gems. This is a one-way friendship, you think? Like, will you just give me... I just take, take, take? I no, because you take, don't take. even take. <laughs> just listen. You just go in one ear and out the other. <laughs> I, heard I bet it. you one of these motherfucking white people told you, yo, you know what you need to do? You be like... <laughs> Here you go. Yo, you, you paint that little picture. Yo, I just want to point out. Here you go, Mr. That he, he paints that little picture of <laughs> yeah. me like he says I painted of him. Here you y'all don't y'all don't see him paint. He paints that little. Whatever picture you be saying I paint about you with white girls, I don't know what you be saying. I, I, I it said ain't just he white. Be, it ain't just white. But no, I'm if, saying. If Puff told, no, him, to yeah, if Puff told him to do it. You'll do it. If Puff told you to do it. You'll Puff do it. said, "Yo, you know what? You could get New Jersey, get a restaurant over here on Nine W." You could have had that. that. Y'all add to that narrative. I hate the, all of the narratives, bro. That's true. That's the truth. Yo, you know why Puff is so ill? All me and him did was, a bunch was, of was reasons. fucking beef about shit. <laughs> not beef, but think tank. No, I'm not. We're not we're saying not, I'm not even talking about saying, If he I'm was one of the ones that somebody, gave you that Oh, just who you would take advice from. Yes. yes. That's what I I'm take saying. advice from you. Are you kidding me? There's some advice. Hey, you told me pull off when them niggas was coming. To <laughs> <laughs> hey, you told me pull off when them niggas was coming to shoot me in front of heaven. And I drove you off. off. Yeah, but I, I stayed up after, the block. After and then 15 I stayed minutes of arguing. <laughs> Yo. The things uh, niggas do man. for some cat. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it don't even be. Nah, that was wild. It don't even be Siamese cat. It be alley cat. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it don't even be the premium cat, yo. You know what? You know what's funny about a man can never say that. You can never say it unless you've had the same. You can't say that about somebody else's sexual experience with somebody. You I, and somebody might have been whack, and then somebody else with somebody might have no, been, right. been fire. I'm talking about one man's one man's what's the trash truth? is yeah, another man's, man's stag. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you I'm can't not do that. One man trash is, could be another man trash too, though. And I ain't gonna hold you. Now <laughs> that I'm a little, now that I'm older, in hindsight, see, I'm the only one that's honest on this pod, but it's fine. I'll cook. I'll cook alone. ISO, clear it out. In hindsight. A nigga has risked his life for some trash. <laughs> oh, they have. Yeah, yeah nigga. He didn't even have to be the greatest of. That is true. Like that, yeah. Oh, shit, she was a mutt. That was, was your ISO? I was a mutt. That what was, was I ISO, on? nigga. You got ripped before you got to the basket. That was no ISO. I'm just saying. And we've, to make all it sound like no, no, nigga, we've, we've all done that. No, we've all done that. What I'm saying is this. In hindsight, you might have thought that was a treasure. I follow Gloria Velez like I follow Prince in the airport. When I saw her at, at Lowe's in Miami <laughs> in the lobby, I was going to a whole nother place. It's just Gloria Velez walked by with four friends that was in that same ballpark. The guy did an about face that nigga and play. just started walking. Yo, when that I just started walking. Set his and she got in the elevator, I got in the elevator. I, I didn't know what to press. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what to press. I just Yo. kept going up. Yo. They got off early too, like six or something. Like, damn. <laughs> oh, fuck. This nigga like a heat. I ain't even get enough time even. to look cute. <laughs> she ain't even see my side profile. <laughs> Yo, well, what you uh, saying over here? Nah, no, for real. Nah, when you set your eyes and sights, it'd be like. <laughs> Man, yo, blinders word, on, this nigga. You'll be like this, else. yo. I the brought horse this with the little shits like. on his face. <laughs> no bullshit. Yeah, that's shit. But I've been like that ever since uh, Dill said, yo, dog, worst they could say is no. Oh, shit, yo. 
You make a good point. Yo, when you yeah. learn that, yeah. If you yeah. Put, if you, if you, yeah. Put, yeah. If you nah. polite, and you have respect. And you just Let me call this have a cool do- opening a, line. Call this nigga Dollar and tell him he created a monster. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a that's that's a that gym is right true. The earlier true. you learn that, yeah. Because I used to go no. off. I used to go off to like some spiritual shit. Like, oh, if she was so fine and God wanted her in my life, then I'll see her again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but now I'm God, I'm God. about eighty nine percent in that though. I always see him again. <laughs> You'll make it your business yeah. <laughs> to see him again. Just it so won't happen. be haphazard. Happen. Sometimes it is. Yo, don't do that. It's <laughs> only me, right? <laughs> oh, yo, this, this much. It was by Kawinky Dink. The no. rest was. No, sometimes word. you gotta just intervene before. I'm not just divine bro. intervention. I agree, bro. Play Yo, God a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. God, you're taking too long. You play I'm a little God. Move yeah. this little chess piece you over here. Sneak I've, been, I've been watching stupid ass, stupid ass New Age Carlton and Will so much now that by episode eight, the girl they fighting over is cuter now. <laughs> <laughs> they done tricked me with this fucking weirdo behavior that they doing. <laughs> Only will. He fuck the girl, don't lock the door. <laughs> Nigga downstairs. <laughs> Here he come looking. Hey, you seen Will? <laughs> I can't talk. This show is the greatest. What are you talking about? Right after Jocelyn Belly is up there. Oh, yo. man. I'm with this. I'm with more bizarro oh, shows. Man. Yo, change the whole shit up. <laughs> Put niggas on crack, dust. <laughs> yo, they start talking about some shit. I start crying in there. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. <laughs> No, I was crying, yo. <laughs> then I went downstairs. My mom said, hey, you saw the new belly? I said, yeah, I was crying. She said, me too. <laughs> she she said, what you got it from? Yeah, she said, what part? I said, oh, I'm being talking to her sister. She said, yeah, me too. I said, oh, it was right <laughs> Yo, you go through that. Yo, what is nah, wrong Nah, that's you, real yo. shit, yo. Oh, that man. shit was in my... I, you go through shit like that. Oh, man. <laughs> Niggas start crying on Bel Air over oh, Aunt Viv conversation. That was real shit, yo. No, it was. No, no, it's been a they lot was of real giving shit. it up, yo. They did. No, nah, she see, gave and it that's up. why I see some of these stupid fucking Twitter people. Oh, you watching Bel Air? You said you don't watch any show about kids in high school. I want to smack you niggas with a <laughs> microphone, yo. I want some of y'all to <laughs> not have the fucking right to speak to me or yeah. type to me or fucking <laughs> allude at, to. to at, uh. <laughs> What are you talking about? Hate man, these they niggas, just yo. be talking. You just got to let them niggas talk. No, fuck them niggas, man. Just let them talk. Oh, you said you double. I said the thing. So that, what? The nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Niggas quick to <laughs> point out, oh, you said this. So? Oh, what did it change? Nigga, who are you? <laughs> Introduce. Fuck up. But anyway, now, nah, so when they got, now when the sisters start going back and forth and, and, and she was like, you got carried to everything. You, I put my life to the side. Mom put her life to the side. Everybody, so you could get up there. To, nah, to, nah. <laughs> oh, hey, nah. Hold on, y'all wilding. Y'all wilding. I'm sitting there watching with a girl trying to. <laughs> I'm trying to do like this. You can't let her see you crying. No, that no, not, not that bell. No, no, you can't. Do now you just got to be ultra nigga and shove her head down and get some hands. <laughs> Why you want to yeah, get away? <laughs> <laughs> nah, you gotta suck my dick now, yo. You gotta yo. suck dick right now in this moment. Get in the head while you're crying. Nah, for real. Oh, shit. No, no, for real. You, you, wiping you can't see me crying to Aunt Viv so and her sister oh, shit, going crazy, yo. yo. Nah, All right, she, she I'm went, sorry. Yo. <laughs> she, she went crazy on and the And Uncle too. Phil going through it from his, with yeah. his dude. Like, yeah. we're like, nah, they bugging, yo. They bugging. I love it. Oh, I love it. That's not an ad. I know y'all think Peacock pays me, but they don't. They oh, should. Man. Peacock, cut the check. Yeah, y'all gotta pay. And if you don't, I'll only talk about you one pod a week <laughs> <laughs> for free, not two. <laughs> That's why I stopped Ice last week. Back to that, gyro, the- back to that gyro conversation <laughs> earlier. See, it's fucked the- up. You know your work. So it's like, I don't want people to get conditioned to where y'all think y'all can just send some sneakers and niggas going to start talking about something on a pod. Like, that's not going to happen. <laughs> At least not every pod. Like, <laughs> let's keep this organic to where we talking about something because we like to talk about it. Not because, and them sneakers is hard. I was about to say, it depends on the sneakers. There's some ones. There's some hard ones, too. Some I don't even wear ones, but yeah, high top ones. What color? I ain't. Why ain't beige and white. Oh, they don't cost enough. <laughs> Ain't no, no, they no, they no, 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 no,
we're gonna start nipping this in the bud. Move like Kaiser now. Before, before it even grows. Ish, do you have a problem with who I'm becoming? <laughs> <laughs> no. I just I'm, I'm observing right. it. I don't have a problem. Look, you got the you, you could have had your ones on. I don't think you do either. Yo, why is he fucking with me? Yo, why is he fucking with me? I hate that. Just leave me alone, yo. <laughs> no, I'm saying, He's bullying you? Yeah. Yo, you could have had your ones on. He ain't wearing no ones. That's the fucked up part, because people in real life, like, that know me, like, they bully me. And then I go on the internet, and they just feel like I'm some tough guy that never gets bullied, so they bully me. It's like, where's love? <laughs> <laughs> love! It's I don't get bully. enough of it. <laughs> All I get is vampires and blood <laughs> leeching fucking blood evil <laughs> conniving agenda <laughs> motive oh, had the motherfucker. Man. I feel it, nigga. <laughs> that nigga, you never heard old scream on a song ever. No, he meant that. That was that. the one. Love. He meant that. Love. He meant that. Well, no, he, he, he meant right back. That. I don't get enough. I believed him. No, no, he meant no. Nah, every fucking that was word. From the heart, right there. All I get is people. I. Fucking help it. No, let me shut up. Because everything they think I say is so. All right, come on. We just unpacked like a lot of things. <laughs> we did. Yeah. For real. That was. That was a lot. Yeah, I just want to hear like the fucking Reading Rainbow theme song now. Or like <laughs> the Liberty, the something. Something to ease my mind. <laughs> Yo, you got me thinking about what the Reading Re Rainbow song. I'm like, I can't remember. No, Butterflies in the sky. I could go twice. You guys hear the uh, John Legend? Um, you hear the John Legend come? <laughs> Take a look. Hey, yo, you're not going to say Harlan Is it no? Huh? What you oh, my fault. What you saying? Listen, I was, I was in the house. I know. That was my shit right there. Reading Rainbow? Fam, we had a childhood. <laughs> what what, what, what y'all had in your childhood? I never. Elvis. Like... <laughs> <laughs> happy days. <laughs> he was watching Happy Days. I know that song. This nigga was there I for, you do. He was there for the mash. Oh, he had mash. <laughs> I know that too. Mash and this Love Boat. Stupid. I love Lucy. The TVs was trash. Antennas <laughs> banging on the color. Shit. The playing boss. Yeah, he's not, it's crazy. It was there when stupid. TVs dropped. <laughs> nah, when the color when came, color first came out. You stupid, yo. Stupid ass niggas. The cable yeah, boxes good. with the string. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on, ahead, come on. Man. Don't age ourselves all the way out here. All right, what's this? What am I listening to? This is John Legend singing the Reading Rainbow theme song. No, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop that. What are you doing? <laughs> Holy shit, yo. No, nah, like John that. Legend is the greatest stop. in the world. <laughs> no, John Legend is the greatest in the world. You nah. think John Legend get a Marion out of here? In the verses? No. No, sir. Okay. Just checking. Never. Just checking to see what's going on. John Legend is like hot sauce. Like, his voice can't his lose. His voice is nice. His voice can't so lose. I agree. True. I agree. So how do you... But I'm not with him doing Reading Rainbow. But it's he just didn't don't touch butcher it. Reading Rainbow. Anybody doing Reading Rainbow over is going to butcher it to me. Damn. Yo, I ain't such a <laughs> You're such a purist. But wait, but people could do over the little white girl song as long as they're talking about killing some niggas. Word is born. And that shit go up <laughs> in the club, too. Wow. It do go up in the club. That's that shit one. went up. I was like, oh, shit, y'all know this? That lets me know when to leave the club. Nah. That's <laughs> no, my, that's, that's Tom that's, now. That's Send that's him my, out. Actually, yo, energy, Same. man, I tell you, I went I went to Starless first now. Before my night went crazy last night, I went to Starless first. Energy wasn't, energy wasn't where, you know what I mean? Where it needed to be. Had to get up out of there and make a little... <laughs> All right, so listen here. We have a special guest. We don't normally have company, but we make exceptions sometimes. And I'm excited because I just be excited. Oh, I love the girls. I love the girls. Round of applause. <laughs> the biggest. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I like love that it. intro. No, nah, it's her. <laughs> she's here. No, nah, she's it's here. Yeah, I I fuck with you. Lotto is here. Yeah. Took time away from her busy, busy schedule to just come say hi to the guys. I appreciate it. We appreciate that. We do. Absolutely. Ice is Lotto High. How about say I've been Lotto High. Okay, Ice, okay. Ice is Lotto oh, yeah. High. Oh, yeah. Okay. Ish don't really know about right. anything culture. <laughs> <laughs> so he's fine. And I just have been admiring from afar with what I hear. And mm -hmm. I and my introduction is where it always starts for rappers. It's can they rap? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and she can. And yeah. you can. 
I'm glad you know that because they be playing with me on social media. See, but that's where it's interesting for women because the the, the audience that y'all speak to maybe is not an audience that has always been familiar with rap, right? Rap, yeah, like yeah, lyric, yeah, yeah, rap. Uh-huh. So how would they know how to not to, to not to, to be tell disrespectful? Tell me if I can, I can't rap, motherfucker. You, yeah, no, you go, you go crazy. <laughs> we tell me. I want to know everything, and and my uh-huh. job here is to not. Is to not, how do I say this? Is to not, I don't really want to understand Lotto, the artist. Mm-hmm. I want to get to, for this brief time that I have you, mm-hmm. Lotto, the human. Yeah. Because I told you off mic, your little tweet, I almost cried now. I almost I'm, cried. I, that was not my intentions, though. I think people felt more sorry for me than I wanted them to. I just be talking like, I'm in the new generation. Like, we grew up on social media. I don't know how to shut the fuck up sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I told you, off Lotto, camera. you can't do, you can't play. Like, you can't just make older niggas like me cry when they read <laughs> things. Because I've been through things. Yeah. And it's triggering. So when you say. Yeah. And, yeah, you got however many followers all across socials, right? So that it, you say, you, and that's what the thing with these new people. Y'all got followers. Yeah. It's mad niggas yeah. listening and watching. Yeah. So you say things, and that's what it is. Mm-hmm. You can't say yeah. it's somebody that's about to drop. Yo, this album right here, uh, they trying to take my joy. Yeah. They fucking with me. My yeah. head's bad. It ain't, it's supposed to feel good. Yeah. But it ain't feeling the greatest. You yeah. said that. Yeah, I did, but that I And meant I saw that. the five heartbeats. Yeah. <laughs> so. I meant that though. I meant that. That's how that's how I feel. That's the headspace I'm in right now. But it's more so like I'm gonna get through it. I don't want people to, you know, feel bad for me. Like, I got it. I got it. Do you feel like you, you, you're saying that because it's just so much you have to do right now to prep for this album, or is it? No, I think it's just yeah, so much stuff going through go, that I'm going through right now that I just did it, and I'm like, damn, I can cuss. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm, just like, Girl. I'm just like, I, <laughs> Girl. child, my Please. mind be everywhere. Um, that I just didn't know that people do. I just be like, damn, for real. Like, I just, I just want to rap, bro. Oh, I don't See, know why you chose to be a rapper. That business of music. Yeah, it's the business that stuff that's business just of like, music. it just frustrates you because, you know, you can't speak on certain stuff and then it's just like, they tell you to shut the fuck up, but it's like, this is what I'm going through. <laughs> Bitch, I don't want to shut the fuck up. Now, when, they, when you say uh, shut the fuck up, do you mean, do they tell you that in music or uh, interviews, socials? Um, Like, uh, on the label side, they like, Oh, yeah, you want to show your room too much? Shut the fuck up. Got and then the it. fans like, shut the fuck up. You clout chasing. I'm like, or I'm venting. Clout chasing or fucking. They, it's a thin line because pe- people don't, people, once you are an artist or a celebrity, they don't think you get to vent. Oh, like, God. You're not, you're not human oh, no more. Oh, God. Oh, God. They think you can't be human no more. Mm-hmm. But we still, we still deal with stuff and they think that because we famous and rich, any problem that we have is 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 nothing. You got money and you got fame. Well, no, you shouldn't have no problems, but mm-hmm. people just don't know. Well, that's why I like talking to the women because number one, y'all are dominant right now, and yeah. number two, y'all experience is going to be unlike anything we've ever seen before. Like for me, this isn't what Queen Latifah was going through. Mm-hmm. This isn't what MC Light was going through. Like mm-hmm. the women that I came up. Huh? Or they might have been, but there well, was no social media yeah, yeah, for yeah, them yeah, yeah. to release that. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like, I'm sure Latifah has had her fair share of shit because she's yeah. a megastar. Mm-hmm. So they just didn't have social yeah. media to run to when something was bothering them. Or they didn't see all the hate because it was no social media. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, people can't, like, now people feel like they can get at you. Sure. And when they mm-hmm. when we let them get at us, sure. when they see my clapbacks and stuff, yep. they're like, ooh, I'm provoking this bitch. Plus, they probably had to Word. play it cooler Lotto, because Lotto yeah. it's an industry at that time there wasn't as many women rappers at that time. So they probably felt very afraid to I'm speak sure up. Was hate, but you just didn't see it. How much? Right. How much? How much do the comments affect affect you? Um, they they affect me. I wouldn't say like I wouldn't say like too much because I know how to take it with a grain of salt too. Like I use the comments positive in a positive way too. Like. 
um, when they say they was talking about like one time they was talking about my BET Awards performance, mm -hmm. and I went I back remember. and did it way better the next time. So, and it made me like I thought oh, you, you I thought you, you smoked that how you handled it. I thought that. so too, but you know social media gonna talk whatever. I thought so too. Y'all let these <laughs> niggas rappers get up there and hold they nuts. These and niggas shit. rappers. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> these niggas rappers. <laughs> but we gotta, you know what I'm saying? They critiquing my breath control and shit, but y'all ain't talking about old dude high as hell and he. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just they want. See, you hear a lot of that from the girls too about they 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 will highlight the unfair advantages bullshit. that men have for real. So I'll I'll read the comments and like critique myself and do better. I can take it as like as like constructive criticism sometimes, mm -hmm. but then sometimes it do fuck with my mental though. All right, so take me back. You fell in love with rap when? Um. So first it started in school. Like I was a phenomenal writer in school. Like I was in fifth grade competing in like high school writing competitions and stuff like my mama got all these plaques like me winning all these writing competitions so like essays and poetry and stuff like that I I loved language arts that was my favorite mm. subject in school so I just liked wordplay and then my daddy he like he was like a street nigga growing up so I was around that lifestyle like he was cool with rappers he loved cars so like he would pull up to the video shoes put the cars in the video shoes oh, Yes, and I was a daddy's girl, so I was on his hip every time. So I already liked words, and then I'm growing up around like, oh, that's um, Mr. Collar Park. That's um, the Shop Boys. That's mm -hmm. Big Boy. That's, you know what I'm saying? So I'm growing up, franchise boys, I'm growing up around all these people. My daddy, I was on set of um, Sierra Goodies, um, ATL, the movie, mm -hmm. um, Jagged Edge, Good Luck Charm. Just like being around Exposure. with him. Yeah. So like how my old, how personal old huh? How old are you, if you don't mind? Twenty three. Got it. That's yeah, so I was I was a baby baby. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what really hit it too? Um I was on set of for the uh, B five all I do. <laughs> and I was like, Oh my god, they kids like me. Like <laughs> So I was like, Oh, I could do it. But it was really like my personal passion for words and then what I was already growing up around, they like intertwined. So I'm assuming you told dad before mom, yo, I'm rapping. Yeah, I told my daddy first. My mama, she not, she not into music. My mama is a Caucasian woman. She not, she not, you know, she not, she don't know nothing much about rap. Oh, I love how you handled that whole mulatto, mulatto thing too. You, <laughs> nah, you did. They be trying, they be trying you. They, they do, they do. But I was sitting here saying, oh, she got to do My mama not no Karen now. Don't, don't get it fucked up. My mama ain't no Karen now. <laughs> <laughs> She'll sing her heart out. Her favorite. She love Casey and JoJo. She hey. love Jay Yeah, she a R and B like soulful white girl. Okay. Yeah. I ain't saying nothing. She ain't no Karen. <laughs> no, I ain't talking about you. I'm talking about social media. They be like, you and bitch was raised by a white woman, bitch. You did not Karen. Yo, I though. hate that they have to deal with this show. Yeah. I hear it at the tip of her fucking brain with yeah. every thought, every I idea. Know. That's Dang, nasty, that's, yo. That's that. game, man. I need to stop. That is about nasty that. how they have us that's fucking true. conditioned. And the yeah. nerve of the fucking label saying something about being on the shave room when they probably in bed with the shave room. <laughs> like, oh, I don't God. understand it, yo. <laughs> Oh, I'm telling y'all it's some give it to me, ish. Give it to me. It depends on the on the content. So if those son, those same labels will have a hard time giving somebody a release date or push if you're not on the shade room no, or but, over yeah, here. But depending on what you're going on, on the I shade. I did her to be quiet. Or you're not the conversation or yeah. you're not hot right no, now. But if, if if she got an album coming out, or if I'm trying to build her brand and she on the shade room negatively, then they're gonna have a problem. But if There's she doing positive on the shade room, yeah, yeah, no, I ain't Absolutely. gonna lie, I, I, I like the on shade Sunday room. On Sunday mornings, they they, they post yeah, some like, gospel. Ooh, come on, what <laughs> <you> <laughs> they post gospel on Sunday morning and then get right no. back to fucking some nigga you know what they, life you know up what that was doing that was there. cheating fine secretly in private. And here y'all go want to ruin a whole nigga life that was cheating cool. His girl happy. <laughs> This girl happy as could be here gonna shave him right after gospel post. <laughs> oh, such and such was caught right at this Kentucky Fried Chicken right over here with such and such. That no. ain't his girl. They did no, that to poor that, Mimi. I don't be on there for all neg negativity though. They post my. Album they like stuff. you, yo. Yeah, that's because they see, like you. See, but I that's what they, they 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 fuck with me. She's What's one of the liked ones, and she still goes through this psyche. Is sure. what I'm saying. Yeah. But you only liked until you're not. All right. So aside from that social media shit, well. Well, you're not really liked until you're not. No, they build you up to break you down. <laughs> yeah. They build you up again. 
Yeah, but you know what? Somebody told me that on social media, and I started looking at it like, damn, that it means something for people to even want to crit- criticize me or just like, you know, fake bully me, hate train, fake hate train shit. It mean like I'm doing something right. Like, they was like, you know, you close to your break or whatever. So I was like, damn, they do show do be like attacking everybody before they blow. I'm going to tell you, the reason why they do that yeah. is because you give them something back. Mm-hmm. Like, if you were able to just completely turn I mean, it's, be, it's hard it's not I easy I keep saying to, um, be, be Beyonce to these bitches yeah I yeah. be like what would yes. Beyonce do <laughs> and that's well, why Beyonce, Beyonce ain't going after back a while it run page. out like alright we keep shooting at this one we keep yeah. shooting she's not giving and us nothing back alright cool we on to the next one oh, but when you give them something back mm-hmm. it tells the next alright now let me let me make her react too that's literally what let I me be get saying the, let, yeah it adds fuel to the fire that's literally what I be saying I just I just got a child I don't know what I gotta do one day I'm gonna be Beyonce one, one day one, I'm gonna be Beyonce day, yeah. to we these bitches. We ain't there yet right now. That's, that's one all. day I'm gonna be Beyonce to these bitches, and y'all ain't yeah, gonna be able to bother me. Yeah, but you're 23. We got time. We got time. I hate blaming it on my age, but it do play a part, though. Of course, yeah. And you I grew up in social active, media. I be like, see, the goal is to have these, have some people who hate you and critique you yeah. when you're 30. Yeah. And then have some of them when you're 35. See, the longer you go, yeah. And that's when longevity comes in. You learn. They don't leave. They part. They part of the journey now. Yeah, I'm good. And like you said, I like the first thing you said, which is, "Yeah, dog." I said that on Twitter, but I got this. Yeah, I got this. I got. No, people. yeah, because I don't fine. want it to ever be like a pity party thing. Like I know I'm not the only one that has moments, you know, mental breakdowns, and like you know, I'm not the only one. So I'm not trying to like victimize myself. Mm-hmm. I think people took it like, oh, she just wants sympathy. Like I don't. I well, was just no, and then, my the, mind. and then the story before that, I won't focus on it. Was. But it's interesting being a woman having to deal with, yo, clear this, clear this for me. Yeah. Oh, wait, what? You're not, or getting that call from your people like, yo, we're having a hard time clearing it. I was just in the studio with. (laughs) Man, that shit be crazy. Like, that's the moments I'm talking about that just had you mind blown. Like, this shit is a lot. But, and even having to learn as an artist, wait, I got to clear some shit with these other niggas over here with a nigga I just fuck with on on the tape. We cool. Like, what? She's 23. Like, it'll be artist to artist relationship and we fuck with each other and you know we mm. we want this song to come out but it's other fucking old white men running this shit that got say so on our creativity and our personal relationship that shit is crazy that shit is a myth I'm telling you because crazy. it be the old white men that she talking about that will go say hey go do it artist to artist so it looks like you have that control. Yeah. But then once you do, but then nah, we don't exactly. Want that. No, we gotta do numbers to numbers now. Hey, y'all can make a marriage on wax. I we gotta make a marriage behind these doors to make yeah. sure this that, money that, is that's right. All, that's all great, but you niggas have no idea what I had to go out and do to get my little Wayne verse. That nigga was on tour doing some shit. He was roller skating. He was, can't get that nigga away from that little roller skating. <laughs> <laughs> all right, when they tell you Wayne was rollerblading or whatever that shit is, you dead. Skateboard. That nigga left the shit, went and did the verse. Oh shit, I got a verse. Uh, no, you don't. Yeah, Wait, not though. Oh, hey, y'all better go talk to him. Oh, God. Hey, you y'all better start celebrating some shit. <laughs> you better text be that like, nigga. Oh, no, that ain't how it worked. I learned that real fast. And now you married to the song. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Now I love the song, and it's like, wait, this not going on my album. Last minute, I'm figuring these things out. Like, okay. I want to hear about the album. I want to hear about the label. I want to hear about your relationship with the label. Yeah. I want to hear about how you feel about the label. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, I'm I'm happy where I am though. Like I, I feel like I got the whole building's attention. I feel like I'm a priority. That was one of the reasons why I signed with RCA in the first place. It was a lot of young black women when I walked in. So I felt like Hold on, I'm you know, I know Hold on, I'm yeah. applause right <laughs> I feel like, you know, I'm not gonna be steered in the wrong direction. I'm not gonna have like somebody who know the culture. I don't wanna be because people see me grow up so they know this is authentic. I can't have no label come in and infiltrate my authenticity. Because the people fuck with me, they respect me because they seen my come up. I used to sell CDs, pass CDs out. Like, I came from that. So I didn't want nobody come in and, like, whitewashing me or just making me too commercial. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what else? Um, what else did you ask me about? Mad shit. Yeah. <laughs> Mad shit. All label-related shit. I, I fuck with the label, though. I do fuck with the label. All right. I won't get into there being an attempt to whitewash you, but... How do you or the label respond to uh, the oversaturation in the market for women rappers? Um, I think they they give me a lot of creative control. Honestly, like a lot of stuff that people or rappers see. that are women. That's I hate them 
women with, rappers, right. rappers yeah. that are women. Sorry. Yeah. They give me a lot of creative control. So everything that you see is really just me being authentic and just standing out just off the strength of me just being me. It don't be too much like thought going into it. I, I'm i actually very talented. I push my pen and I go in the studio and just try to like be the best me. And it just happens. That was actually one of the first things <clears throat> which got me. Like they said, I'm lotto high. Um, I'm big on, I got to believe it. Yeah. I got to feel like you're not playing a role. You're not being a character. And first records I heard, I was like, yo, shit, shorty, all right. Yeah. I talked to a couple of my people out there. They're like, no, she get busy. Like, that's yeah. her. Yeah. Like, she'll fuck you up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, she ain't just rapping about it. She'll yeah. fuck you up. I was like, yeah. oh, yeah, nah, I'm, I'm in. Oh, you be fighting? Not no more. They going to sue me. <laughs> good I like clap. my money in my bank account. Round of applause. Mm-hmm. Round of applause. Mm-hmm. Hey, you got some good. Hey, you doing a good, good job. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what your role is here, but somebody's pumping some good information into this young lady. <laughs> no, nah, you're right. They will sue your ass. No, they will sue my ass. That's why you know. Uh, shout out to X, my security guard. Yeah, we don't play that. Yeah, you know. But you used to be fighting. You used to be fucking with yourself. <laughs> they knew about you. Nah, that's mm. big. That's high, yo. That's big. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's making hey, you start, sense. You coming down the nah, hallway, pulling your make, air right Nah, now. it's making sense with now, the, yo. The, with the Vaseline on your face. Stop now. it. Okay, so on this album, what's happening? You rapping, you letting these bitches know? No, yeah, for sure. I, like, I set the tone. So when I first, it's funny, it's going to be kind of hypocritical, but just listen, hear me out. At first, when I started the album, I was like, I don't want, don't send me no typical female rapper beats. Women that rap beats. Mm-hmm. Like the shake shake that ass, shake hey. that ass, pop it, pop it. Like I was like, I'm not talking about sex, I'm not talking about pussy, I'm not talking about nothing. You know. But then Which I was like then I was like, damn, I'ma be a sellout because this how I was introduced to the people with Muwap and Bitch from the South or whatever. So I was like, I can do that, but let me just remind them that I that I get the bars off. So I was like, okay, I'm going to do, like, I got Willie featuring 21 Savage. So that's like the strip club anthem. Give you that and get off of that. So I'm not going to just stick to that for the whole album. So I got, like, the intro. Like, it's crazy that when I play my album for people, they be like, the intro, my favorite. Mm-hmm. I got... Even down to like the feature selections, I wanted it to be like a rapper album. Like, damn, this bitch rapping. That's the that's the impression I wanted to leave off. So yeah, I I did end up incorporating a song or two. You know what I'm saying? But it's for sure rap shit on there. Like that's where my passion is. That's where that's what that's where I want people to leave. With, that's what I want people to leave with when they when they listen to the album is down that hook and rap. So you make a left. So you make a left turn in your career. What percentage of your fan base today do you think makes that left turn with you? Because even listening to you, I hear, I hear some of that now too. With yeah, they probably think this is gonna be there, but mm-hmm. I'm gonna go out of my way to skip that stereotype. Do it this way. Yeah. And that's what I'll just show them. I ain't gonna lie. I think I got an advantage just because, like, <clears throat> a lot of people just want to see me win because they respect my come up. So I think I do have a lot of people that is taking that that turn with me. I think a lot of people want to see me grow and they just want to see me win and they just going to support whatever. Now, that's not 100%, but I do think I do have an advantage on that subject for sure. I think a lot of people are going to take the turn with you because those of us who are familiar with your catalog, you, you've given us that from the beginning. Yeah. Like, yeah, that might have been the introduction <coughs> to the masses, but you've always been rapping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I was looking at your music. You got a lot of fucking music. Yeah. It, it, ain't, it, ain't, yeah. it ain't been a bunch of... I've been of, rapping since I was yeah. eight years old. A lot no, of indie I projects really. too, right? You're yeah. putting it by yourself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like indie. Like just me and my daddy just like you I came from like C D burners. Like, yeah, like the, the mm-hmm. spool popping of CDs. out. Niggas yeah. down south hustle, yo. Yeah. yeah. Down south they hustle. Oh no, for sure. And Niggas I come from south a hustler hustle. too. So like that shit is just embedded in me. For sure. And but I think people will take that turn with me too, because I think people miss that. Like the way it was fun, like the fun booty clapping music, but like the tone on social media lately been like, oh, we we sick of hearing that. We sick of hearing that. So I think people will be excited to hear this album. I think it'll be a, like a fresh Especially sound. if you can write. Yeah. Like, yeah. Especially and if you they, can really yeah. write and you yeah. can really, really rap, mm-hmm. then you'll appeal to everybody. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you'll appeal to rap pure. It's like, oh shit, shorty go. Right. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 And so. then just the versatility on the album, period. Like. I get in and get out of these pockets, and it's just like it's a song for everybody. You might not like this song, but bitch, I bet I could play a song you like. 
Any expectation from the label on what they are looking for when this drops? Not that they've shared with me. Got it. They better not. Good. No. <laughs> they don't. I'm going to be 100% honest. They're they not the ones putting pressure on me. I like RCA. Yeah. So you ain't really got, because I'm R&B man. Yeah. A lot of my favorite R&B acts on RCA. Yeah. Skane is family for me. He's at RCA. I got mm-hmm. good people over at RCA. So it's yeah. like, I love RCA. But I got to watch how they handle a rapper rappers. with attention now. Yeah, rappers. Yeah. People, multiple people brought that to my attention, like, when I did finally decide, decide to sign with them. But I looked at it as, like, um, I'm the focus in that. Like, mm-hmm. you know, I didn't look at it as a disadvantage. I was like, well, I'll be the first, and they going to make sure that first go. Mm-hmm. They got too much banking on them. We got a, our, our female rapper. We got to make sure she go. We got too much competition. They going to. And it's showing the whole building is invested in me. Like, they fuck with me the long it way. It looks like it. It looks that way. They fuck with me the long way. Like, my A&Rs, my marketing, everybody be like, personal phone calls. Like That's important. Too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice mm-hmm. Personal yeah. relationships. Like, pulling up on me when I'm in the city and stuff. So, you said that um, the building is a lot of influential black women. Yeah. You think they kind of door to you? Like, I want to make sure my daughter succeeds. I, I think so. Maybe maybe that's why they go hard for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, that yeah. might be it, as opposed yeah. to just men that's just dominating the industry. Right. This is a black girl, and she 23 years yeah. old. Let and me they, make not, sure. they not that much older than me. They young black girls. <clears throat> so it's not, not mothering, just no, I, not, loving. I, didn't know. I mean, yeah, it's I didn't some, know you know, that yeah. I do feel like it's probably but, like, dog, I want to see. You could be 40 years old and be her mother. Yeah. You get My mama young as hell, too. My mom probably like 40. <laughs> Like, I'm, not for no, I'm just saying you could be 40 years old and be her mother so you would feel if you worked at the label and she came in as 23 you would be like yeah you know yeah. what I'm saying like yeah, you I know how this label, label I know what the to happens to make out here. sure she yeah. don't yeah. do the fuck shit not if she because trash. and uh, no but I think still that's it to too a lot of no, people a lot she of them trash. you would still try to protect her interests oh, even if she was trash interest. you know yeah. what I'm saying and take a, a father daughter type role to make yeah. sure she not just chewed up out here I think it's that for sure. I, I, mean. I definitely think that's for sure. And I think they've been in the studio with me. They know them motherfucker work. They been push. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I'm looking at all the songs you put out. I'm trying to catch them. Like, Yo, Lana got a lot of fucking music. Yeah. And then I thought, damn, the pressure of the rappers today to have to just, you better be able to have one. Just yeah. a rap fast. The yeah. ability to make a song quickly. Go in yeah. project quickly. No, that I will say that's that that is something that I'm experiencing now with this with, with, that I did experience with this album. I wasn't rapping as fast as I usually do. And I don't know if that's people getting in my head or whatever, but like I was so in my head about it being perfect. Like I was like, nah, that's not the bar, that's not the bar. Like I think of 30 damn bars would it take so long for me to Write the verse just because I want it to be perfect. You ready for the road? I am. I am. I am. That's that's my favorite part about what I do, perform. I, I love, like, feeling their reaction and, like, feeding off of their energy and stuff. And I'm very, like, hands-on with my show, too. Like, the, to the choreography, the choreographer, the, uh, the video wall, what videos is behind each song, the props and stuff, like... Everything had to be my bitch. Y'all are expensive girls, yo. You hear we shit? is. Yo, we dog. is. If y'all seen my you glam tab, y'all would be like, what the fuck? I spend too much on glam. Glam tab. Glam. Glam. That's no, funny. for real, the girl. I know, I know. I know. I'm just... I want, and, I know, I want it to take too long. No, no, I want to know. I want to know. I want to know now. I want to know a little bit. <laughs> I, I, I got to know. I got to know. I probably spend like 20000 a month just on hair. Bitch, you know math. Times that by 12. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. On glam, no, on hair, hair. Just on hair. hair. She said hair. hair, on hair, hair, on hair. Well, hair is important now. <laughs> now hair. That... But that's the thing too. But cause... why they ain't going in one of so the hair people like and thousands getting of dollars to give you the <clears throat> way, Look. buddy? No, yeah, it is very expensive. Y'all would, y'all, y'all don't know how. Yeah. That's that's just hair. But I think like. Female rappers like you gotta look like that. They're like even when I was independent, they want me to look like I got Beyonce budget, but I'm independent. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't I say that? Mm-hmm. Like damn, I said that. They don't appreciate the come up no more. Like they so used to artists just getting signed, and you 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 never heard of them before, but they got signed and blew up. Like it's no more. Like oh, they been grinding. Oh, the label reached out. Now they signed, but I been new by her. So let me ask you a question. <clears throat> so with, with regards to what you're saying. 
She got a win for that head to be laid. Yeah, I see. I see you the baby heads with the, the, the semi circle. No, 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 little semi circle ass. I see it. Yo, um, do you think, as an artist, just say you with all mm-hmm. your natural talent, if you didn't have a glam behind you, mm-hmm. you would be as appealing? No. And that's the no. pressure. Yep. No. That's the pressure. No. And that's when niggas would take that advance money so that you could take the advance money and get, right. and get yourself get called right. up. I know now I got to so so present my image to the world. <laughs> yeah. I got to have a, I see a little AP. I got to have my yeah. AP on. I got to have <laughs> something like, <laughs> a little, little, little something, yeah, something like, like it's a regular. Little, little, yeah. Bro, I'm not even got my, like you know what I mean? Boy, stop. Boy, stop. <laughs> <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. dog. So you can't just come in there with no watch on your arm. She you good, know, and she not, can come in. And say, I'm Lotto, and I can rap. And I'm a rapper. I got my was, words. Rap, but the people right not going. They not going. They not going. But not you gonna naturally that. pretty, yo. Yeah, but they, they not, not going to receive that. that, bro. No, 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 no. And that's so unfortunate. That's the argument. Like we you was know having. what? Mm-hmm. It's so stupid. They, they. I remember when I had first got my first chain. They was like, it's time for another chain. Wait, wait, who said that? Wait, 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 who said that? Now you got to go In my fans? Instagram comments, yes. Yeah, you got to go bigger, niggas, you got to keep up. You see what they're doing out there? Like, what? what? You see what they're no, doing No, but that just go to show you how much, like, that appearance shit is, like, way out of control. They, they don't even give yes. a fuck about who can Perception, rap. everything out there to them. They, they start turning talent. the comments off just to fuck with niggas. Yo, your talent don't matter. No comments. You got to package up the talent. Yeah. You have to package up the talent. You got to get a new chain. I worked my whole life for this chain. Like, <laughs> like no. where your chain? And oh, no. My chain make. is more than money than you make all year, nigga. Fuck where your chain I'm, at. I'm telling you. See, but even that's another another double standard. Because as a dude, I don't have to have a chain on no. if I don't want to. I'll just no. go out rap all you niggas and that'll be the mm-hmm. end of that. No, no, no it's well, not. That's not no, true. Well, not no, today. it it is them oh, niggas though. But oh, they gotta me, be then show, like then show me Kendrick with a bunch of chains on. No, no, I'm saying like Kendrick, the Cole. The the two. Keep going. Them, them Keep niggas. Going. No, I'm just saying Keep them niggas. The it ain't, uh, it's right not a thing. Yeah. No, it's, it's not, not a thing. It's a minority, my nigga. But wait, the rapping but, niggas. But wait, no, I'm not letting y'all do that. The buck stops there because them is two of the niggas. They, those is two of the top best apples on the tree. I'm not, dis- bus, bus I'm not disagreeing not with you, but what I'm telling they you. brains is different. What I'm telling you is their superior skill is what made people forego the image. And also that's part of their image. That is part of their brain. That was part of their brain. That is their image. That was part of their image. That was part of their like a fucking caveman. And they fans wouldn't even say no shit like that. Exactly. They don't expect them. They fans wouldn't even say no shit. They came out with a chain on. I love this talk. Why wouldn't they fans say the something? The Migos like is the Migos without the, the, I feel like, the clothes. Well, Migos, Atlanta culture is different. Atlanta culture is different. J. Cole's from North Carolina. It's right mm-hmm. there. North Carolina culture is different. It's though. right. I'm just Don't saying. That. No, no, no. It's right there. Hip hop oh. is hip hop. It's not yeah. the same. Southern hip hop is southern You fuck girls hip-hop. in Atlanta. You fuck girls in North Carolina. Stop it. We don't have to do this right <laughs> now. We don't have to it's, do this man, right them now. Them Charlotte monsters uh-huh. be monsters. The same way the oh, ATL oh, monsters. Why is that? I'm talking. Is it because they don't make culture. music for them type of fans? So them fans. Jay Cole even... is just a different dude. Yeah. I just think him personally. I think maybe the talent is just too undeniable. And you can't use it. It ain't no game. There you go. Yeah, yeah, there, there you go. Yeah. You get back what you put out. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. The rules ain't different yeah. for them two. You just get back what you yeah. put out. So most people succumb to the rapper starter kit. I did it. Mm-hmm. I took my first publishing check and went right to get two chains. I bust the whole thing down. I had like 50 grand left. <laughs> <laughs> it was 250 I had no idea what nothing called hey what that called it was little chain too that's 75 oh that's 90 oh yeah. look, they both little give me both <laughs> now I'm just broke and that's what it is no I agree with that and I'm just saying the pressure but, if- the, but, but what they teach you early what they used to teach you if they really wanted us to be better people was if you're an artist and a wordsmith then why would you want to add things to distract people from what they're there for yeah. So why would I come in here with mm-hmm. all of this beautiful Good shit point. on? Good point. And while you staring at me, yeah. you're not really hearing what I'm doing, which is the real gift. And that's why Kendrick don't do it. That's why Eminem don't do it. That's why J. Cole don't do it. That's why even Drake, that little stunt he did the other day at that Raptors game with that little million dollar thing of a jiggy that pendant, even when he do it, he just do it the way it's supposed to be done. But the executives that are giving you that advice, guess what they not? The bitches. I'm following you. Give me, give me. So you want the attention of the opposite sex. That is a motivating factor. 
If I'm a chick, I just go get in the greatest BBL. I'm probably I'm not talking see, about a girl. I'm, I'm no, going, you're not. I'm going to, I'm going I'm to see the doctor. Oh, I'm shit. going to see the doctor that be killing bitches, but he do the good work. No, I'm talking about the man. <laughs> like, you got to risk your life. If you want the ass right, I'm going to see my man. I ain't going to put him on blast. He be, he be killing bitches, <laughs> but I'm going to do that. And now just look at my ass, hear my words. That sounds horrible, but that's why but I'm not But they, get, they getting sick of that, though. <laughs> that shit is playing Wait, out they getting sick of, don't say that. They get sick of ass? Yeah, the BBL. Yeah, I mean, they I think it was a wave cool, like every pretty bitch. Bitch with a BBL was rapping and it was like perceived well, received well. But now Coily Ray they ruined it. <laughs> that damn Coily Ray. Ah, fuck. No, no. Don't strike no, me why again. you playing clubs? Because I it, love Coily people Ray. looking for more now. They would there you go. Like the, you the distractions is still a part of the package. I definitely mm-hmm. agree. Like that's not gonna go nowhere. But people still they they holding the music accountable as well now. Mm-hmm. What you want to do outside of the music? Is there pressure to like have all these different brand deals outside of rapping and yeah. be with them over here and have a happy meal and just anything? Yeah, just because I don't want to rap forever. So you know. Ooh, how long you want to rap? Um, I don't know. I think it's just going to be like a vibe thing. Like I check out when I check out. Like I'm not going to drive my, I'm not going to let this shit drive me crazy. I'm going to be Rihanna and get that money and check out. And I drop a baby. It, nah, I like it. Nah. <laughs> gunshot. <laughs> no kids, right? No kids. No but kids. but later but, when you Yeah. See, and that's the thing. Even when they come in, like they have a clear idea of what finality looks like. Like what yeah. the, now. Now, today. Yeah. Nigga, That's she just so said beautiful. Rihanna. Yeah, so many. Yeah. You got role models. Yeah. You can follow. Hopefully, yeah. Yeah. God willing, you can follow the, foot, the footsteps that have been placed in front of you mm-hmm. via Rihanna, via fucking even Beyonce. Queen Latifah, but Beyonce, oh. whoever the case mm-hmm. may be, you can follow those paths. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you're an attractive lady, you can follow those paths. Yeah. You can follow footsteps, and you personable. Damn, Lotto, man, I'm mad that you came late and that you got to run. And that you got mad shit to do. Because we fuck with you up here. We do. It's a yeah, flight thing. I know. I would yeah. come kick it with his parts of tequila and keep running <laughs> yeah, my mouth like and get in trouble for it later. Yeah, that's some <laughs> real shit, right? Like, fuck all this. That's what we want. Yeah, you know I mean, I just want to make. And first of all, Lane was supposed to change that flight, yeah, dog. There's more flights. We going on tour. <laughs> we hitting the road. Yeah, we got up. an album coming. I had time for that. Rushing to a fucking airport. So, what do you. Do you have an idea of what you want to do next? Like, um, I know I I want to start my own label and I want to sign female rappers, like young talent, young female rapper talent. You're not gonna give them the same hair budget, are you? <laughs> never. I mean, She's hopefully never. I'm rich by then and I can. Hey, mm. not for all of them. Though. <laughs> you ain't giving them twenty. <laughs> I ain't beat. gonna have no hundred artists on my on my roster, but I I be seeing some girls that I could see, you know. Oh, it's like what Jocelyn's doing. Stand <laughs> No, oh, she signed the show. Don't, no. You watch the show? Don't do that. That's my show. No, I don't. I don't watch <laughs> the show. show. I see the. I see the clip. Oh, and it's so great. That. No, all right, fine. <laughs> this ain't that. <laughs> all right, so we want to get in the. All right, yo, that shit is just the mindset, right? I'm listening to her. She got both her parents in her life, so that's great, yeah. right? But, yeah. mm-hmm. but dad sounds no. like she ain't got to say no more but about my dad. dad I know about and dad. I was just about to say, I know about but dad. But my dad was a heavy, heavy influence in where I'm at. Uh-huh. No, for sure. From I, the I hustling ready. standpoint, for. Rapping standpoint, he had me around rappers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I was already liter- uh, a literary language right. arts genius, mm-hmm. so now it's just a marriage made in heaven. I feel yeah. like that about my son. He, he raps. My son raps. He put out a little snippet the other day. First bar in the song. Only family I ever got is my mom and my... I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, dog. I'm like, yo, oh, get, my, get my car back. Oh, nah, he I'm going to get my car. Yeah. Get my fucking shit. car back. Nigga. Paid for college, bought the car. Oh, shit. Nah. But I laugh at that, right? Because that's what, you like, did the same type shit. That's the rapper yeah. I was. Yeah. So it's funny when you're on the other end of it now. Like, wait, I never thought about how my family received uh-huh. the things I was saying. And some of that shit really was just my bullshit perspective. <laughs> you put that, you put that shit in the 21-year-old brain. Yeah. Have you gone through that where you throw some introspective shit in the rhyme and now it's causing like real life ramif- ramifications? Boyfriend, oh. ex-boyfriend, family member. Friend. Parent. Yeah. Friend. Yeah. Yeah. I, it, people just got to listen to my shit. Like, I'm, it's not going to be in Freaky Girl. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got to go in depth. Like, the album. You have to listen to the album. Like, the songs on the album. Don't just pay attention to a single and look for that shit. I wanted to introduce you to your Super Gremlin freestyle. Mm-hmm. I was playing it on the mm-hmm. way here. See, I look mm-hmm. for shit like that. And on the singles and shit, while I know it's important. Yeah. 
it's the other shit that yeah is what get a nigga. But like. that's why I do both because I gotta do this. I can't I can't not do this right. if I want to you know you be one of them top yeah. girls. Yeah. But I'm gonna do both. So when I pull up to motherfucker, when I pull up on motherfuckers like you, you like there's something I fuck with you. Yeah. Oh, they tried to kill you for the sample thing too. Yeah. Yo, they been. <laughs> They be on my ass. I'm not gonna lie. No, who, who they been on her you? ass. The fans tried to kill you for a second. Um, like just like I wouldn't call them fans. Just social media. Oh, okay. Mm. For um, I said when I did uh, you talking about big energy? Yeah, yeah. When I yeah. did, I was sitting with Nessa and I was like, um, That's she was Nessa. asking about yeah. Shout out to Nessa. I love her. She was asking about um, how did big energy come about? And I was being honest. Cause fuck media training. How'd you play? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I know the story. Yeah, the Mariah joint, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, they was like, so did you? You know, when you when they played the beat, did you? And I was like, you know, it felt nostalgic. I'll say it felt nostalgic, but I didn't put one and two and two together. We talked about it here, and it's like she's twenty three, yo. Yeah. <laughs> like, what the but then I went and looked it up, and I was like. The song was either made the year I was born or yeah. before I was, I was born. And I was like, was a, hands up, don't shoot. Night. What the fuck? Like, <laughs> <laughs> People look at it that way. I just like, how I'm getting dragged for being yeah, honest? Yeah. At least I'm not that cap-ass <laughs> bitch that get up there and act like I know. And then Nessa would have asked me, so... What, and I what like, else about oh, that oh, album? Oh, and you're right. going, uh, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I would rather be 100 and I can't trip myself up if I'm being honest. I like. I said it felt nostalgic. I thought that was good. I thought that was you. Sound like sometimes you took some media training, or like you went into the little corner office at the label no, and they had to just, get into your. Like no, you just been around real niggas been, all your life. Yeah, I just been. And you were on, you on TV too, too right? Just yeah, I was yeah, on TV. So, yeah. TV, just doing it for a long time. Trial I've by fire. Been doing interviews since I was eight years old. Raised by real niggas. There and you shut up when the police come. Yeah. Good, <laughs> talk to them. Who? The biggest. Who? I don't even. It's her. The who? biggest. Sir, I'm sir, sir. I've just walked sir. out here. I, I don't know. I just got dropped off the Any school of them. bus. I'm I just walking home, sir. Sir. I have no idea, sir. Uh, sir. <laughs> I'm, I'm 12, sir. <laughs> I just want to go kick my ball down the street. <laughs> Can I have my book bag with the, with the things in it, sir? Yeah. That's all good. I'm good. So no, what do you fun. do when, when you're away from Lotto and all this glitz and glam? Mm -hmm. like? What what's soul serving for you? Like what shows you watching? What you get into? I love um Snowfall. That's my shit. I love Snowfall. Did you like the last episode with the tiger and all that? Wait, don't don't I'll tell me because I haven't seen I've She's been on to tour. Put an album out. Yeah, that too. <laughs> that too. I haven't seen what is I think I seen the first three. Okay. Oh, of okay. season four. A lot of people didn't like the last episode, that's why right, I asked. But it, I'll, I'll leave it for you to Yeah, okay, I gotta so I gotta go Snowfall. see it now. Snowfall. Um I shop. I gotta. I shop. I gotta stop shopping. <laughs> gotta stop shopping. You seem like. Uh, yeah, you seem like. You, gotta stop you look shopping. like you shop. No, I know shop. why I said that. No, I said that. And I hate to profile people, but yeah. I do it a lot. Yeah. Like I know you was running around. You got a flight to catch. You mad busy and shit. And you came in here. and You tried to look like down, but it's right. <laughs> no, you can tell the dress she tried, down. She tried the dress, to dress down, dress down, down something, right? I'm traveling today. I'm traveling, but, but, but many, it's still, yeah. How many days you been? <laughs> just today. Oh, y'all just got here? I got here like midnight last night. Oh, uh, y'all did Bergdorf's? <laughs> so shopping, you say Bergdorf. Bergdorf is uh, where the rich people be shopping at. Oh, oh, Down tell there. me. <laughs> no, don't tell me. I just said I'm gonna stop. Wait, so now I'll ask. Let me just ask you some cliche shit that me and the niggas be arguing about when mm -hmm. there's no girls around. Mm -hmm. Could you date a broke nigga right now? No. I love the honesty there. No. Me neither, girl. <laughs> At 23? No. Yes, it's no. Well, Why she gotta deal with I'm that? I'm 23 and I'm having this shit. That's more of a reason not to date a broke nigga. I'm sorry. No. no, he be wanting y'all to date broke me. No, I don't. <laughs> well, no, why I don't. you say I'm so no. confused? It's the big, it's big lotto. How do you think I the know. big got in front I of her name? <laughs> How do you think the big got there? By dating <laughs> broke niggas? You piece of shit. No, 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 no. I've, I have before, but now that I got it, I'm not finna take care of no nigga at 23. Mm -mm. And then it's an ego thing, too, because like when I was in a relationship and I started, like I was gaining a little more fame and stuff, and the uh, dude he couldn't I was take with... It. It was. It became skin. an ego thing. So I really think it's deeper than girls just not wanting to. It's like men can't even handle it anyways. At 23, she has all of the female answers at 23. 
Well, yeah. <laughs> fucking Lil' Kim and Foxy Brown, everybody else been putting in records <laughs> for a million years. What do yeah. you think was going to happen? Yeah. No, the one with... This no. is why my son... I feel bad for my son. My son will be 21 years old. He can't back like 23-year-old talking this shit. No. Nigga, no 23-year-old outside of the... <laughs> it's no diss to bro niggas, you know what I'm saying? But it is. Everybody, it is. all the rich niggas will not everybody. Right. Unless you was born into money, you was broke before. You know what I'm saying? Dog. So like, don't let him. Don't let him shame you. I'm not. Nah, don't I'm let him shame to, you. No, you no, just no, tell no, the niggas I, to get their money up. I'm just yeah, saying. I think it's just I was broke before too. See? Like you just work harder. <laughs> tell him work harder, what? please. Hey. Yo, tell me if the, <laughs> you wasn't broke. I wasn't like I. My parents were. I'm just saying. By the time daddy I, wasn't broke. No, it was times for sure. My daddy a hustler, so we had. You wanted to bring a broke nigga back to Yes. Ramen noodles. We had times we went to Roof Chris. It was, you know, yeah. it's a struggle. It's the game. Yeah, I get it. But I'm by the saying. time I was an adult, no, I I ain't been broke. All right, give me the minimum what a nigga can make. Give me the floor. Give me yeah, the, yeah, give yeah, me yeah, yeah. You got Give me entry make. level to what it takes. I mean, I'm so salacious. I can't put like a dollar on it, but I would say like he got to at least match me. Like if we don't have the same income. (laughs) If we don't have the same income. She just said she spent 20K a month on her hair. (laughs) She did not say that. She did not say that she She said her hair budget. That is she spent. spent That is true. You're right. What I'm saying is this. And she said she shops a lot. I want you to shoot for the stars, right? Young black woman, you seem super duper dope. No, they didn't. She ain't got to shoot. No, shoot, yeah, exactly. <laughs> what I'm saying is, fam, outside of some NBA niggas, who the fuck could match that at 23? Oh, uh, great. So get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> go, go get dunked yeah, on, you thank bitches. You. Yeah, hey, thanks for my Amazon package. Yeah, Bye. <laughs> Bye. No, drive <laughs> off now. No, yeah, no, you have to go. <laughs> Thank you for your no, compliment. We can't, we can't date. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for my package. But oh, let me man. say this, though. That's that don't mean up. that all rich niggas is a match. Got a shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, no, that's that's important. Baby, no. I, I'm, I'm queen of humbling niggas, for sure. Slide in my DM. I will humble your ass. But why? Because, why like no. That? Why do you think you can even... Well, no. I don't even like how your face crunched up. Yeah, your face That energy she just got into. feeling so entitled. Like, they feel so entitled, baby. I know your game plan. You see me, fresh... Face, young female in the industry, ain't been attached to no nigga. You want me to be attached to you so you can go up when I go up and you want to catch it before I go up. Like, yeah, no, baby, I know you. What is he here. supposed to want? That's what he's supposed to want. No, no that sounds like a vibe. Want me for that me. sound. Mm-mm. He, he don't know you yet. He You've don't been, know wait, you no, yet. No, no, wait, time so he's out, sliding wait, your no, no. DM. He wait, don't no, know no, you no, yet. Time out, time out. That's not fair. You've been rapping since you was five. You was in a major language, whatever that shit was you was in. <laughs> <laughs> whatever good ass school your dad put you in. I know their intentions and I know their game plan. I'm straight. Oh. They probably have the. You are correct. You are right. intent. Yeah, they I already are. know their intent. But a when long... you tell when you slide my DM to my pull up, bitch, do I look like a pull up bitch? Pull up. They say, hey, oh, yeah, you can't. That's the first, that's what? the opening line, that's, pull up? Yeah, you can't. That's Y'all, cool. these niggas be crazy. And then, <laughs> then the celebrity it. niggas love just putting an emoji. Like, what the fuck that mean? You, you can't retweet You it. want me to respond to yo, a fucking these girls with dads, fire yo. emoji. Or girls like, fathers. It don't girls even be fire fathers. emojis. It be like whatever yo, they what emoji the they <laughs> use. Like, <laughs> no, they do. These no. girls with dads are too smart. No, girls with dads and big brothers be up on game. I done heard my brother tell them lies my whole life, nigga. Man, they be they be having a game. So it sound that. like a nigga just got to catch you in person. My nigga already caught me. I'm out the way, out the mix. But was it in person? It wasn't from an emoji. Anymore. Yeah, it was in person for sure. Yeah, yeah. not an emoji. There you go. Yeah. I never did that. Just send an emoji to a girl like and thought that that was. Y'all told me I, they I, they just taught me I can't send the eyes to a guy. No, it's not even eyes <laughs> though. Like that is kind of insane ways. I get what, what you're trying about. to say. Like they will drop like whatever emoji they use. Like. Let me think. Like a nigga. Don't say eggplant. No. Yeah, please don't say. No, please not don't. no, not please eggplant. What are the reds? Oh, the demon one, the, the purple devil. No, the purple devil the, the, nasty um, one. The, the bullseye. Now nah, that's my shit. Now I'll be demon. Nigga might hit demon you with time. the bullseye. Yeah, like something just weird. Like what? The, like that's what I'm saying. Like them type of emojis. Like a nigga send a purple pickle or a fucking eyes. You kind of get what he's saying. 
What? How do you want me to respond to a bullseye emoji? That's how do you want me to respond to the skull emoji? What What does that mean, I don't know sir? You are killing me? Uh, uh. Wait, is that what the Wait, is that what the skull <laughs> means? I, you I killing me? That's what I you don't know, know, nigga. I don't. I gotta I'm use send that. Skull. Skull. <laughs> but when I send the skull, now my new shit. Now I keep sending a Pinocchio face to bitches. <laughs> Why? Cause you a liar. Cause they lying. Cause they lying. Cause they little lying hussies. <laughs> I'm I like joking. the Pinocchio. I'm Maybe joking. I should yeah. send that back, actually. Oh, yeah, nah, I like that yeah, one. Yeah. I like oh, that one. So and, and I'm going to send chicks the little salute one when it dropped. That's out. That's out. <laughs> I'm saluting these chicks. Listen, how long How long after your, after this project do you want to come back with music? I want to do like an extended or like deluxe, deluxe. type thing. Um, pretty Probably pretty soon no, after. No, no, no. I'm talking about a real project. No, no deluxe. Like a, a real project. I record like a motherfucker. I'm going to take a... I'm going to take a cool month vacation after this for sure for my mental but after oh. that I'm back in the oh, studio oh oh vacate pics to you bitches now uh oh oh yeah uh -oh. <laughs> I'm about Wait, to fuck the ground up y'all don't see what's going the album about to drop <laughs> and then I'm about to serve them these trip pics yo the things y'all do with trip pics yo yeah they I'm hoard them shits for the next six months mm -hmm. oh no you about to I'm gonna be crazy. playing my album on the yacht and stuff and like nah, yeah one of them yachts too not the little two seater uh -huh. shit I was on <laughs> <laughs> not the little, yeah, not the little Statue small, of Liberty Pole yeah, Not the little small shit Some shit with some room yeah. mm -hmm. You eat breakfast oh, Not off the little cooler I had some But anyway staff. So probably like next year I, I would say when you're coming back here But you about to be busy Like you about to take off And you already said you don't like Tour niggas going. To get in early on you And then to be there for the rise No uh, That's not what I said Like don't can we be that. there for the rise Of Lotto Like we yes, want to say Lotto's a friend the of the show Yeah. But that means yeah. you'll come back. I, I love New York, though. I'll come back. I've been saying that I'm going to come back here when I don't have work, though, but I'll squeeze out. Man. Gee, yo, I ain't never been nice outside have, in New York. You don't? Oh. That's girl. what I'm saying. Girl. That's what I'm saying. I really love New York. Like, I haven't recorded here. Every time I'm here, like, it's just press. sleepy, press, in and out, in and like, out. in and out. Like, yo, I don't like how the, the record industry has reduced New York yeah. to, yes. to that. Yeah. 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 You know yeah. why, though? That's corny. Does everybody left. Like, where the she, fucking she, artists? She. Everybody left. Yeah. Everybody New left. York used to like, be the home of the Like, my whole label, artists. all my A&Rs lived in New York, and they all live in L.A. now. Mm-hmm. Like, there you go. Yeah, you got to relax. All my 17 <laughs> A&Rs. Nah, you know, she helping to spread just like... <laughs> This narrative sorry, in New York is sorry. over and quiet. But it, but it, but it it, it's true though. Like everybody used to record here. My life would be like recording. I mean, recording in New, in New York. What? What Damn. you mean? Well, they that was just that. Well, that was stupid too. How they how they had a hold on the studios and yeah. well, back back to the point. The labels the labels had it. The labels got the blogs now. Whatever. But I do think that you and some of the other newer, hotter, doper acts should come to New York just to catch a. Just to catch a vibe. So. Yeah, I think the culture here is just so inspiring. And you give that energy. Like, she gives yeah. New York. Even, like, see how she, she came does. in? She's I feel like here. in my past life, I was from New York yeah. or whatever. Like, See, look, even that face that she just, come on. No, you ain't hear the voice. I was from New York or whatever. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, but listen, she came in here. She sat out and kicked it with, like, the yeah, mid-chill. No one from nowhere. That's like, true. She, was, she was cool. Yeah. yeah. Girl, don't come here and be cool. No. For real? Cool. What they be doing with y'all? They be cussing y'all out? No. No. Most of the girls like me. I see like you me. talking about female rappers. No, nah, they be. I do talk about the female rappers. Yeah, I be seeing. But I talk about all rappers though. Yeah, you do. All, all the rappers. You do. Yeah, you just don't fuck with who you don't fuck with. That's it. I was scared. I was like, Ooh, <laughs> they want Joe me to go getting? where? No, no. I'm, I'm, I'm going on. See, I was late. I was late to the party. Like mm -hmm. by the time I'm going on, like. They was like, yeah. like, oh, yeah. brother. Yeah. See, I'm a music lover. Mm -hmm. If you're a music lover, you should just share it, not bully somebody because yeah. you don't yeah. know it. Like, <laughs> wel welcome me, bitch. <laughs> Fuck. So I was one of them, but I was shocked to see, like, the more I just started digging and doing yeah. research, like, all right, it looks good, and yeah. she's still rapping. She, yeah. she hasn't sacked, she hasn't compromised the rapping yet yeah. every time I check in. Yeah. And that's where I be losing hope with. That's so why I just got to root for the flow millies and the rap cities and just yeah. the girls that prioritize rapping because I know mm -hmm. you're gonna you're gonna go through you're gonna get to a lot of points where somebody's gonna try to make you compromise. Uh -huh. Or the money. Yeah, no, I'm sure it's I, happened already. Yeah, yeah. I was thing. about to say that it, it ain't nothing that I'm not experiencing already. I just at least if I'm doing you know a song that might not be so rappy or a feature that might not be so rappy, at least I'm like, nah, that 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 verse not gonna be it until I have a punchline or two incorporated in it. 
Or There's even if people. I give you that song, I could give you three more real rappy songs. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So yeah. it's a little, real diverse yeah. project. Yeah. Off mic, I'm going to ask you if you told your man when that nigga ain't want to clear the record. <laughs> <laughs> off mic, off mic, off mic, off mic, off mic. I just got, it. I just got. It. No. Um, I got it. She's going on the road. We won't see her again, guys. Nah, that's it. She's she's out of here. Yeah, yeah. Maybe twenty twenty three sometime. No, don't say that. Yeah, don't well, say we, that. We, we, I'm still do. me. Or maybe we'll see her on the road. We're yeah. going on the road too. So yeah, we're yeah, going. Maybe. We're going on the road. We might bump so, heads somewhere. Maybe we'll do it that way. Yeah. yeah. But it's gonna hurt me if we don't see you again. No, right? y'all gonna see me again. Honestly, then, y'all gonna then see I'm gonna feel like it's just like the label treated us like. Yeah. Home, I'm gonna be sad. Yeah. I'm gonna be sad. Don't, don't, don't let them treat us like that. Yeah, well, I'm not gonna let them treat y'all like that. Okay, then good. Do you have? Do, does anyone have anything final for Lotto? Album comes Lotto's out. Great, album comes out yeah, yeah, yeah. Album. Did they give y'all the little? They um, give us shit. Yeah, they give us shit. Belly I'm gonna make sure they give it. I want y'all to hear. It. I just, I just want y'all to hear. They've been doing the little sample thing. My, um, the person from RCA with me today, Amanda. I'm gonna make sure she leave it with y'all. I don't know why they didn't do that anyways. So apologies. What the lotto, st- the lotto stem player? Oh no, it's they like a do little that. like. Sorry, <laughs> it's, it's like a little like what four four songs, whatever, just like four different sounding songs that that's from the project. I want y'all to hear it. Oh no, you? Yeah, oh, I'd like to. Hear I'd it. like to hear it yeah. one and two. Cause that further lets me know you're a priority I feel like I can reel y'all in as a fan. So I want to put myself already to the You could get, get him. You already it. said your mama I fine. I Matter of fact, I got a song called Sunshine with Wayne and Childish Gambino on it. Oh, shit. Look at his face. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Took you 20 big, years big, to get big, a Wayne. Big, big, Lotto. <laughs> no, I'm just the biggest. The biggest. No, I, wasn't, I didn't want to ask her about the features or really too much about the album because I didn't want it to take away from my experience when it dropped. But... And when okay, does it my bad. Friday. Friday. Oh, shit. Yeah, she's, she's out, out, she's out already. Oh, Friday. Yeah, no, she's out of here. Right? Right. Wait, Friday. Childish Gambino and yeah. Wayne? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What else you got? <laughs> just look on the album. Oh, Big Energy Remix. That's I'm just letting y'all know. They, like, they keep saying I'm secret features. I'm coming feature. and bitches, I'm telling you. I'm niggas too. Nah, but the bitches and y'all getting these vacay pics. <laughs> now, nah, nah, when this remix drops, I made, I waited a long time for it to be my turn. So now that it's my turn, I'm not letting up. Energy. Not letting up. You don't, want, you don't want to tell the future. I can't. Not yet. I can't. I can't. Yet. Yet. Just keep. Just keep. I tell y'all off camera. I tell y'all off camera. All right. Cool. Yeah, she got to make sure the label is ready. Everybody's ready. All cylinders firing yeah. when this one go. Yeah. Because I'm gonna be on a beach somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> on a yacht. I, I need to be able to just text. Do it. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> go. It's go time. That little Turks, Push the button. Little Turks water. Yeah. Yeah. You know where you're going yet? Like, For the big game? I was thinking like somewhere in the Virgin Islands, like St. Thomas. Yeah. No. Don't do them. Don't do them because they gon' they nah, gonna I fuck get with mad. them. I fuck with them. Okay. That Turks different. Yeah. Turks that water different. I think Lotto can. Something tells me that. Just giving the young queen. Some tells me that she can do both of those. Yeah, work. <laughs> <laughs> look, I'm a just she ain't look, feeling like a one vacation a year kind of gal. Listen, one hey, island listen. type. Yeah. Yeah, just, yeah, I deserve a vacation run after this prison run. No. That's true. This, this shit can be exhausting. It okay. is exhausting. Like, I haven't slept. You can't do this I'm and go I'm starving. I'm oh, dehydrated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you better. There's a lot of that on tour now. Yes. Yeah, like, I'm not playing. Like, I've been running every day and just, like, conditioning myself. Cause they just they just can't wait to talk shit, so I'm just gonna try to be proactive the best I can be. <laughs> fuck them, yo, fuck them niggas, fuck yo, them. yo, yo I'll sit here with you and we can say it. I know the label probably wants you to not do none of that, but fuck these bitches, <laughs> man. Word, fuck, fuck, fuck all that. Fuck these niggas, fuck For these real. bitches, yeah. fuck haters, fuck all of them. Fuck all that. They're gonna talk regardless. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. like no matter and what I you do, they're gonna talk because. They they will talk and then I'll do what they was talking about mm-hmm. that I hadn't done. And the same then when I do it, they gonna find something else yeah. to the say person. anyway. No no no, yeah. same person. Yeah. And once yeah. you get caught into that, your nigga mad you short. Use yourself. You just yeah. grow. Fuck nigga them. be like, yo yeah. nigga too tall. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. No, they they the same people. They just gonna find something. Child, to say. I'm gonna get there though. I feel like like I'm getting closer and closer to not giving a fuck. Beyonce and these bitches. I'm getting closer and closer to okay. Beyonce and these bitches. Yeah, but you I'm know what? I'm getting closer. Even if you give a fuck, even if you give a fuck, if you never say anything, they'll never know. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's it. Yeah. Sure. That's yeah. it. You don't give them the power. You could be that's in the it. corner crying. Yep. But they won't know it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So uh-huh. you don't really get. Don't them let the power. them see it. I just gotta lock my phone. Like as soon as I see that shit, I gotta lock my phone. Get you a burner phone. page. You know what? My Yo, friend was telling me about 
making a fist that it was like yeah, well if you sure. just made a, a fist that you could respond fake, fake post Instagram. whatever you want to post and mm-hmm. respond like you know what I'm saying cause I'd be wanting to post and just drag a motherfucker yeah. cancel yeah. it just don't forget yo, to switch yo, she, be one, other yo, she be wanting to let that Smoke. little ham off yeah 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 <laughs> she be wanting to let that little, little ham little, off man little what this shit will make you want <laughs> to like bitch I'll pull up on your ass See? in real life like, and that, that's I, what I, I got when I asked about that's her. That's my Atlanta. saying okay, to the you, label. I always be like, they be like, stop. we don't she, care. She like, got an album product. Could you stop? I was trying to play. A, I'm playing sensual yeah, yeah. R&B. I'm not trying to rile Big Lotto up. Yo, Serene sorry, Sage sorry. the Room. Sorry. Uh, Tranquil Vibes. Yeah. Lotto's Usa, album out. Usa. <laughs> no, she, <laughs> she used to be beating bitches up, yo. I could tell. Nah, you could tell. I you could, could tell. tell. Swing first, too. I know. Now she got the nerve. She make it big and talking about, oh, why they hate me? <laughs> yeah, remember ladies and gentlemen new friend of the show Lotto brand new album yeah. in your phone this yeah, week yeah, yeah. thank you for stopping by we appreciate thank you, you. Me. I was a little I was a little scared no, you yo good, you good no here. no no stop you good here. why tell, scared. tell us why what did they say to you what they give it to you cause I got the label version of the label version what did, what did they say I'll tell you you first I okay first. I just you know like when you pull up on motherfuckers they just don't got no filter like they just gonna tell you like Bitch, I don't like you. Yo, there's this nasty run of media niggas that move like that. And I guess maybe that is my perception, but nah. I don't think niggas it's not like even a coming rude to... thing, though. It's not a negative or a rude thing. It's just like you got the people who come and you pull up and they kiss ass, and then you got the people who just going to be them, blunt. And just Blunt yeah. don't mean rude, though. No, right? no. Yeah. You know what I'm but saying? What, like we, just we real. Got to but that. what I'm yeah. saying is niggas not even coming to sit here. Yeah, that's true. We yeah. not taking, mm-hmm. we not talking yeah, we to really niggas, promo run, yeah. yeah. album, yeah. label, yeah. no nigga, yeah. move, move around. Yeah. So by the time we get here, yeah. man, you're, anxious you're already to, accepted. Yeah, yeah. 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 but they, I guess they don't know. They don't know. How would Lotto know? That's true. I never did. And I'm Lotto still dealing with people fan. not knowing. That's why when you was like, you really rap, I was like, I, I appreciate the fact that you know that. Like, it's so weird because there's so many new people tuned in to me that don't know this shit. And I be like, who can't fucking rap, bitch? Who period, can't period. rap? Honestly, look at that face, yo. <laughs> so I keep looking at him like this poor guy. I, I, I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> you know, we, yo, yo, Lotto has been, hold on, yo, damn, Lotto dog. has been amazing. <laughs> Thank y'all. Oh, really sweet, sweet girl. Thank y'all. Go get the album. <laughs> Nonviolent, hands up, don't shoot. Hands up, don't shoot, don't sue. Don't sue. <laughs> uh, can't even steal on the nigga. Can't even steal on the nigga. Fuckers are oh, sue. man. Nah, but you in a place now where the label might pay that. The label might pay Ooh, it I do got a little leverage. Nah, nah, the label might pay that. Oh, let's no. wait till Friday, though. Nah, keep your let's hands wait till to yourself, Friday. Fam. Keep your hands to yourself. <laughs> no matter what happened Friday, they're going to want another Friday. We get another Lotto album at some point. You oh, have to sure. do real bad for that not to happen. And you passed that. You bad that. Ew. Nah, that part. <laughs> Listen, we out here, Lotto. Thank you. Hugs, hugs, yes. hugs, hugs. Thank y'all so much. Oh. Just a little round of applause. No, yeah, no, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oh my God, Lotto was great. Thank you to Lotto's team. This scary nigga standing in the corner. What, did we handle it right? It was good. Yeah, good. It's our guy right there. Good. Great interview. Yeah, shout out to Lotto. She was dope. Yeah, she, she was. was dope. She's gained a even bigger fan out of me. Yeah, well, she let us hear, hear some of them uh, songs she was talking about. Yeah, that was a plus for me that the songs were good and that the label was putting her in a position to when I could hear it in the music. Mm-hmm. And she's great. But I'm done hearing about... I don't, don't come up here and trick me with all the fucking smoke, mirrors, makeup, bullshit. Like, I want to know who you are as a person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care about your music, yo. You'll catch one, you'll, you'll miss one, you'll be dope, have a good album, you have a bad album, you'll have fucking turmoil, how do you get out? Oh, that's great, but who are you? So when she get in the, yo, I had both my parents. First thing I heard, she didn't say it like that, but that's the first thing I heard. Listen. No, she said, she opened up with, yo, my dad was a hustler and mm-hmm. I've been around rap my whole life. She, he had all his cars. Uh-huh. The rapper niggas was borrowing his, his cars shit. for their videos. videos. That told me everything. Yeah. Yeah, you know what You set the thing. stage right there. But even outside of that, and, and you're right, but like her energy, I know energy is a buzzword no, right now, but she ain't no, she, this is a room full of men. Mm-hmm. Nine to eight niggas. And she felt she right She ain't know nobody. Uh-huh. Sat down, had a blast, mm-hmm. waved off the label saying, hey, maybe we got to wrap it up. Maybe we got a flight to catch. Nah, I'm chilling. That's great. That's, That's great. I'm happy, I'm happy for her. And I hope that she does well. 
I hope that she don't succumb to some of that. I hate that social media has to have such a presence, mm-hmm. such such real estate in our new artists' brains. But yo. she said that too, like, yo, I'm 23. Like, social media is what we do. And yeah, it was she funny because we start we had that same conversation before she even got here. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like that's literally what happens. They well, grew up in the social media era. It's normal to them. To them, take your problems right, right to, to the, the social media. To the black screen, as you would say. That's every day for them. So for her to turn it off is a lot. But mm-hmm. I think she'll get it though. That's true. Well, Pusha T took his problems to a different place. Yes, he did. Da 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 da. <laughs> yeah, yeah Parks was a little segue. Well, he, got, yeah, he got the segue. What's going on out here? What, what was his beef though? Nothing. He just fish. Got a, not just beef. got a check from somewhere else. No fish, fish not, not being beef. square. Nah, honestly, he smoked that. He did. He smoked <laughs> that. Like I, I could see where Push is just great, yo. I hate to. I, wow. Wow. <laughs> like we never really thought about why it's a square. <laughs> How did he get thought provoking in a chicken and sandwich disc, fish oh, sandwich? You got a scale bar off of there. Yeah, no. No. How do you get lyrical you know, in an Arby's track? Hood, hood lyrics. The niggas start talking about fish scale for nah. the Arby sandwich. <laughs> nah, it's great culture. Oh man, culture, culture. Arby's might have to, I might have to go and cop cop something from over there. Oh, and it's funnier because he co-wrote the McDonald's thing. Yeah, that's right. that's how he started off. With the, I see like the first press, line with press he, releases. Yo, I didn't, he didn't get enough money from the McDonald's. Yeah, shit, so he, nah, I'm yeah. going to Arby's now. Yeah, you ain't do me right, Mickey D. Sorry. Yeah. What's the splits? You wanted to put What's all your <laughs> put all your fucking eggs in all day breakfast. <laughs> you le- left me over here. You wanted to fucking bring the McRib back. Oh man, thought I was your rib. <laughs> oh come on, drum with me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I like it though. Let's continue the trend. Give me, give me a. I want to diss the Burger King mascot. I don't really fuck with him. We need Ross no, to come out on, now. Honestly, Ross got to give us one now. Honestly, I feel like the Burger King writing room or the creative team when they had to come up with, like, how the fuck was he supposed to go against fuck Ronald McDonald? You see that goofy looking nigga Burger King came, <laughs> came up with? He can't even go against Flo from a Progressive. <laughs> like he got to be for for Burger King to be so long tenured. He's got to be the worst mascot right there with the Suns mascot. Yeah, yeah. Wait, we don't like the Suns mascot? No. We're not doing this right now. <laughs> or the owner of the Suns. Oh, well, yeah. Well, I know, I know. A lot going on. Yeah. If you want to talk about it, don't get it started. I ain't saying what. On the Suns mascot. <laughs> or my dad. It should my dad get together? Woo! I, I didn't even realize there was a problem with the Suns mascot. That was one of the, him and Charlotte was like the two popular mascots. Mm. I ain't know. Hey, no worries. Um, shout out to Pusha T. Congratulations, keeping hip hop alive. Dissing fish sandwiches. I want to see more of it. <laughs> I want to see more of it. I told you, come on, Ross. Fuck dissing people. Come on, Ross. Get KFC out of here, man. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. Ice is on to something. Come on, Ross. Yeah. Ross taking too long out yeah. there, fucking cutting trees and and copping Angus. <laughs> yeah, Ross got to give us that one. Give us the wing stop shit. Getting oh, KFC man. and niggas Popeyes. made up your bed. It's time to sleep in the dope. <laughs> <laughs> Say that to all these niggas. <laughs> tell tell McDonald's. Oh, tell even. KFC. Why yeah. race did that, man? Yo. And you know who he was doing. <laughs> like, what, what race is crazy, yo. Anyway, what else is important? Griselda's going on tour. I know that's maybe not. Clap it up. Uh, round of applause. <laughs> Shout out to them. If you've been listening to any of the. Well, I. Any of the news. <laughs> it ain't really been too much news <laughs> on the rumor wire. Shout out to them at Oh Euro Tour. They out of here. They out of here. I wonder if they're staying on the same floor. Them niggas getting that fatty. I wonder if they asked for their rooms to be located near each other. I wonder if they asked for connecting rooms. Probably not. Yeah, that's family, man. Yeah, you say that. That means absolutely mean? nothing to me. What do you what do you mean when you say you that? Well, they gotta figure it out. If, you, if it's they family and it y'all You you always figured it out with your family? Yeah, eventually. Everybody you know, you think they always figured it out with their family? Sometimes not. How many times? Just some? Sometimes not. More, more. Just some. More Usually don't. what happens when they don't is someone passes away and then they regret not working it out. That's fine, but they still don't figure it out, though. <laughs> Yo, is it a Griselda tour or a Benny tour? It's all, it's all. I saw a Griselda tour. Yeah. I saw all of the members of Griselda going on the road. This might be just a Benny run. Oh, yeah. I saw a Griselda, a Griselda one, yeah. tour. With all three members. Gotcha. So 
Congratulations to them. Can't wait to see. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Apple had an outage. They went down. I only know that because I was at the car wash trying to get to American Dream, as if I don't know the directions to American Dream, but I've never been there. So I was trying to type in one American Dream way, blah, 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 New Jersey, East Brotherford, whatever the fuck it is, mm -hmm. and they were telling me that it didn't exist. Oh, shit. It didn't even exist. So I thought that American Dream was so ill that they paid to have this shit off of GPS. <laughs> I, I never went to, yo, Apple's broke until I asked somebody else to pull it up and ice. they couldn't you pull it up. Ice. No, I didn't oh, ask yeah, Ice. Uh, ice was in but then, Appleville. But then you couldn't even pull up nothing that started with an A in the GPS in maps yesterday. No, Everything with an A was obsolete. Huh? Could have typed an Android. Uh, why would I do that? <laughs> Bro, I'd rather not know how to get there no. and go get there. No, I hit the navigation feature on my Maybach, uh -oh. and it sent me right where I needed to be. Gotcha. I'd rather just get lost. It's like, oh, yes, okay. thank God. <laughs> thank God for a real navigation. <laughs> no, nah, all this shit went down, though. Everything from... Um, Work harder. Podcast, <laughs> uh, music, <laughs> iMessage, everything was down. Apple got to work up. harder. Yeah, yeah. Buy more server. Ice for you, okay? <laughs> Buy more fine. server. Uh, I saw people complaining, yo, my Apple music not working. Of course, I took that time to laugh. <laughs> like, oh, I warned you niggas about dependent on streaming. Here mm, we are. I was jamming. Yeah. With yeah, all my bought, purchased library. Yo, how's it working for you? Um, Because I own all these files. Mm. But anyway, yeah. As I keep telling y'all, these, these widespread outages are not a coincidence. These niggas are getting hacked. Mm. Not Apple selling the people data. Yeah. Not, not good old app. Nigga, they all do it. Oh, man. I Apple ain't, no, ain't nowhere above the rest of them. All of these companies are selling your data. Every last one of them. Which is a given, which is why I'm still on the American dream part of this conversation. <laughs> I don't know what that is. What? American Dream. It's a new it's a giant mall. mall. So they, uh, so they opened a giant in mall in East Rutherford, New Jersey, right by where the Giants... Uh, Meadowlands. Oh, okay. By Meadowlands. And Jersey is like mall capital of the it world. Is. So there's always a new something popping up. And I always play them to the side when they first drop. When Elizabeth Outlets came, when that new shit down Palisade, whatever that shit is. So this was more the same for me. Why would y'all put a big-ass mall right there? Cool. And anytime I heard people speak about it, they always spoke about the amusement park mm -hmm. side of this. Mm -hmm. There's like oh, rides. So same, there's rides there. Okay. Yeah. There's rides. There's like an indoor pool. Yeah, it's a bunch of shit. You ski ski slope kids. in there. That's all I ever heard. So it's like the, uh, where was that one? Ohio or something like that? Marvel that America. had all that? Yeah. Oh, in Minnesota? Minnesota. Minnesota. They were shooting for us. Yeah. Right? So. Same company. Why would I ever go there? Every, anytime I drive by, it looks mad congested. And when it first opened, everybody was over there. It was PPP loans. <laughs> it was, was spending money. I'm like, I'm not going anywhere near there. But it was poorly explained to me. Poorly, poorly explained. Like, it's not just a mall. It's like... An adventure. It's like if Disney would have put a mall. <laughs> this is $6 billion worth of mall. Oh, shit. Yeah. That's it's a $6 billion so dollar mall. I went in there, and I didn't make it to the mall. <laughs> <laughs> like the one entry long hallway from Valet, which I guess is the luxury side with Louis Vuitton and Saks and all that shit. That's not the mall. <laughs> and it's the size of a mall. A mall. <laughs> <laughs> I was tired by the time I tried to get to the mall. <laughs> but anyway, past that, everything is beautiful. Everything looks like an art exhibit. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about from the seating areas to carpet, water everything. fountains to mm -hmm. carpet to the restroom. They didn't. It looked like $6 billion was spent. So it was women in there. I'm sure. Like they brought back meeting women in a mall. <laughs> I know that sounds foolish, but upon entry, there were groups of women walking around. As a grown man, when the last time you just went somewhere and there was groups of women walking around where you could say something? You could brunch. say, hi, hey, brunch. a brunch party, right? And I dare you to act like you want to talk to girls at a brunch party. It's spit in your face. Uh, hey, you I'm about to breath with me and my fans. You see, I'm talking to my fans. You see, I'm eating right now. Come here to talk to you. What? The, you know what? You, you got, got the wrong brunch parties, man. Well, oh, you go to the, uh, the one where that nigga got shot in the head, right? Yeah. Outside. Anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah, beautiful mall. I'm just mad that nobody told me I was going to the wrong mall. I was going to the wrong mall. Shout out to Garden State. You'll never see me again. 
<laughs> You'll never see me again in Garstown. It's over. It's over. It's over. Huh? It was like that. I've never been in it. No, it's, it's, I had never been it's either. like that. My I'm mom there went, a couple came times. back, rave reviews. A few other people came back, rave reviews. That's the mall now. No, American Dream is like that. I know they got a sex. I don't know. No, they, they have, have everything. everything. They have everything. Neiman's? Everything. There's an everything in that mall. It's There's an everything I'm, there. I'm not even joking. It's there. And I know our African audience doesn't care about this. So, <laughs> uh, what else is important? We got Pusha T. We did Meg. We did American Dream. There's something else out there that was important. Jamal Crawford retired. Wow. Round of applause. Jamal Crawford is elite basketball legend. I got him up there. I got him up there in a lot of shit. And it's just an overall good guy. Back to what we were saying about Lotto. Just Jamal Crawford's energy is great. He's a good guy. He's clutch. One of the best handles of all time. One of the best clutch performers of all time. Shout out to Jamal Crawford. I would call him right now, but we crunched for time. Next part, I want to call. I don't want to call him and be in a rush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want give to, him that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Walking, walking fifty. <sighs> yeah, Ain't that many niggas in the in the league. I don't even. Everybody in the NBA is good, but it ain't ever a lot of niggas that could get fifty on any given night. He's one of them. And when I was talking shit to him, fifty, not forty, fifty. I was talking shit. This when he was on the Knicks. We was running around in Seattle, and I was talking shit like, um, "If you was better, we'd get somewhere." Man, this man, niggas better. You just talk shit to niggas that you know are superior at something, <laughs> right? And he was like, "Yeah, you gotta watch who you're talking to, man. Go look up who got the most uh, clutch t- t- uh, baskets with three seconds or less on the clock in the last three years." There's only one person. It's Kobe. Then it's me. Look it up. I was like, uh, whatever the stat was, <laughs> it was a real stat. And I was like. How do you just have that in your back pocket? <laughs> Where it's like, uh, it's Kobe, it it like it's me. And it should work right away. Like, oh, shit. Oh, my bad. Oh, Shh. Okay, my pardon phone. me. Yeah, my bad. Pardon, pardon me, guy. Sir. I didn't know. If you're young out there and you uh, have some time, just YouTube Jamal Crawford highlights. <laughs> any, of the, any of the teams. Shout out to him. Legend. Round of applause again. Um, Maury, another legend coming to an end. No more Maury. The Maury show is... Canceled. That's crazy. Round of applause. Now we'll never, we don't have to claim these kids at all. <laughs> like, this is awesome. The women have to find another route now to get us to be <laughs> good dads. <laughs> hey, they can't just send a little Maury envelope. Yo, somehow, somehow that Maury envelope made a lot of y'all step up to the plate. <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> Yo, y'all answered the Maury subpoena when it came in the mail. Man, that's and, and the consequence could have been a whole kid. <laughs> you niggas is crazy. Sure. All right, Maury would have never seen me. They had to speak on my likeness. <laughs> hey, is this Joe's kid? Is Joe here, you'd nigga? You'd have been on the screen. No. The little picture on the screen. Yeah, what? yeah, yeah. It would have been a still shot of me. <laughs> sorry, sorry, buddy. You have to chase me for this <laughs> DNA test like the rest of them. <laughs> It's a joke. I'm joking. Ch- Damn, a little loud. I need to louder than that. Come on. There we go. It's a joke. There we go. I hate when I do a real good joke and then y'all get quiet. Then it makes it not a joke. It, it makes it real. Joke. It makes it serious. <laughs> huh? It wasn't a good joke. No. Got it. All right. What else we got? Rest in peace, John Clayton. Yes. Back to sports briefly. Yeah, John Clayton, ESPN legend, broadcaster. He was uh, Adam Schefter before Adam Schefter. Oh, oh shit. Okay. Did they? Did, uh, they just said illness. Yeah, illness. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I fuck man, with John Clayton. Peace, man. I didn't know that was. I didn't, was his I didn't know. Yeah, I never knew his name. Yeah, he came with all the facts. <laughs> came <laughs> and fact you to death. Shout out to John Clayton. Rest in peace. Sixty-seven years young. Still on sports. Did y'all see um, the dude that purchased Tom Brady's uh, last touchdown football before he retired mm-hmm. for five hundred grand, and now he's unretired and coming back? So what did he do? Stuck with the football. Paid uh, 500 grand for nothing. Not for nothing. That's yeah, so, still got to be it, of value, just not that look, much value. They don't have the. What you think that value going to be, man? He come back and throw for 20, 30 he touchdowns. He come back this and season. throw for 37 more this year. Than that football is worth nothing. Kaka. And then Tom Brady reached out on Twitter um, with using his um, Bitcoin company. <clears throat> He's like, yo, Let's let's do something for this guy. We're gonna donate a Bitcoin to the charity of his choice. Oh hell no! Excuse me. <laughs> I see that. I see that's Tom choice. Brady's little I line. Hundred grand. I see that's Tom Brady's little line that he pulls. Yeah. yeah. Excuse me. A charity of your choice. No, it's me. I'm the charity. 
I'm going to have my T9 TB12 company reach out to you. But no, you, you're not. I'm have, leaving. If you can afford to spend a half a mil on a, a football, you got it. Dogs. I'm just saying you got it. You tight, though, because, but you got it. Okay, so give me the Bitcoin, not the charity of my no, choice. No, you're giving it to Ish Incorporated. I get it. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need it. You know what I mean? Ish Incorporated. He's going to get audited. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Keep dropping your little company name. What else you got? Ish, Ish Incorporated. Yo, Ish LLC. Ish is the Ish LLC. Uh, <laughs> no, you're not Ish is the Ish. <laughs> Yo, please don't do that. I'm that ish. I'm that ish. <laughs> <laughs> no, we could go, yo, because I'm not sitting here doing this. And go ahead, John Legend, for singing the Reading Rainbow, man. No, man. no, that was all. Get out of here, man. Want me to bring it back? No, no. I don't want to. <laughs> nah, I want, now I want to hear him do the Liberty commercial. <laughs> Liberty, Liberty, he would kill that shit. Liberty, that's cool. fun. Yeah, he would kill that. Leave Reading Rainbow alone. Lana played some shit. She was singing and shit. Mm-hmm. Melodies. There was runs, ad libs. There yeah. was megastar rappers. Mm-hmm. Bars. Beats where you needed to ride it. Like yeah. like a profession, like a real beat, like from one of the real niggas. <laughs> like, <laughs> none of these bullshit niggas. <laughs> like, niggas with a little tag. It's that nigga on the beat. Oh, they tricked us. It's hard. <laughs> it's hard already. Oh, my God. It's that nigga on the beat. Yo, when these producers came up with a little tag, they was yeah. tired of getting pushed jam. to the back. Yeah. 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 Producers put more Man, energy into the tag. Set your silent ass up and get to the nah, back, that nigga. Was, that was smart. They do. They put more energy into the tag than the beat now. I need my, my tag got to be fire. Fuck this beat. Nah, the niggas that started doing that tag shit had the fire. Mike I'm Will, talking about. Who was the first one to do that? I didn't know what oh. Mike Will was be, talking. Be I careful, because the, the narcissist in me is about to jump out. I'm going to connect it back to me. That's what narcissists do. Who's the first one to come up with it? You did beats? I'm asking Ish Ish. Ish is that Ish <laughs> LLC. I'm asking you a question. I'm telling you I'm a narcissist, so I will find a way to connect this back to me being the one that started this. But the producer Oh, uh, Just Blaze. I know what you're going with it. Just Blaze. Yo, Parks be trying to bring it in. Yeah. I know so where you're cool. going with it. Him and Alchemist was, or Al, Al had the uh, Alchemist shit. Oh, Alchemist first, yeah. Yeah, he was up there too. I think Alchemist nah, did that before Just Blaze. Just Blaze. I think Alchemist did that before Just Blaze. But it don't matter. I'm early in. I'm early in, and Just Blaze got that for me. I call him to have him document it since these <laughs> niggas think I'm liars, but fuck y'all. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, what you else? Did was, you did that. Yeah, no. Nah. Yeah, you did that. In there trying to make some Just Blaze. <laughs> Trying to think. That nigga went there and took my shit, made it the Pepsi logo. I ain't gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> His career went on to be great. That was my last stop. <laughs> See, that ain't got. Yeah, I don't have to call Just Blaze actually. No. Oh man. This now, is now, I'm, now I'm mad. <laughs> now I'm mad. He don't think he owed me some money or anything. A l- little point. Or something? Where a little thing of a jiggy at? <laughs> nah, the, I gotta get a point on every piece. The, the dongle. All right, now. Nah. Let me get to the bottom of this shit. Because <laughs> I'm mad. I ain't know that was gonna be my last stop. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga went on He started putting my shit On freeway records <laughs> Man, Don't try nine years now God damn it I'm on your ass 20 damn, years later about that point 20 years later I'm here now uh, Why I oughta He said you Nan another beat too Keep all that shit, the beans and them. Hey, yo, Kev. Hey, Kev. I, I got to go nah, back. Nah, you know man. what's funny about that? <laughs> this is my brain only. Them Rockefeller niggas made certain that after that pump it up happened, that that never happened again. <laughs> I swear to God. Oh, yeah, you're not getting no more of those. You crazy? Uh, our in-house producers gave some crack to one of these other niggas. That and never happened again. Worked. No, he's not getting From there, out. Chris and Neef was fucking kicking my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. You ain't getting get hey, nothing else. I had my little pumping up. Them niggas came. Reef the down. Hold on. I'm like, yo, 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 yo. <laughs> then they started cutting pumping up off the flip side. <laughs> Wait, nah, hold up, man. That was the setback of 03. Pump, pump it up in the flip side? It was. Nah, it wait. Was. That's bullshit, Freeway. Why you did crazy, that to me? Yo. Nah, this shit in Philly. Yo, there was a brief moment in Northeast hip hop where this was back that ass up for us. <laughs> like, they ran to the dance floor on this. Oh. Oh, nigga, shut up. <laughs> just play, nay. Nah, just play. <laughs> shout out to PD, yeah, you man. You took your voice off that shit, too? Shout out yeah. to PD, shout out to Freeway. <laughs> oh, man. 
then the state prom just kept dropping fire. I couldn't find another beat. <laughs> and y'all want to tell me it's not a monopoly. <laughs> Oh, man. All right, what else? What else? Out, you ain't getting no more beats. Though. No, yeah, no. Yeah, not a thing. Yeah, and Hillary is fine. <laughs> Yo, Hillary's oh, yeah, fine. Nigga. Yeah. Hillary's Shit. fine. So is Viv. So is who? Oh, Viv. Fine, <laughs> Viv <laughs> is fine. Oh, Viv is fine. Oh, Viv is fine. <laughs> Viv is fine. Yo, can we do, we got to wrap this up, fine, but we got to do a pod about Michael Elio. I, yeah. <laughs> dog, I have been saying this. Let's take it away. Ish Ely. <laughs> Nah, because he gave me ish vibes. Yo, like, uh, Michael, ish. Man, when Michael Ely pop up drinking wine, talk about art with your queen, nah. punch him right in the face. No, yeah. 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 Nah, that nigga be giving That's, you the but, soft voice. No, nah, off the rip. He give you that. Uncle, uh, Uncle Phil, when I'm, <laughs> 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 nigga paid 20 for the paint. <laughs> Wait, hey, Michael Ealy got 15. Guess what, nigga? I got 20. See why See why you got to be rich? Because these niggas will come try to play them games. The rich niggas are still your bitch. Wait, and then popped up at the party. That's my vibe. The tracker worked. And he popped up at the party and said, yo, I know your style, right? Target those up and coming on it. Huh? Where they at now, huh? Mm-hmm. Where's Tammy and Joseph? Yeah, 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 yeah. I like Uncle Phil. I like this. I like it. Nah, I he thought. He thought. I, I like it. I fuck with him. If I'm Viv, fuck, fuck Michael Healy, y'all. I might boycott. Fam, that better not happen. Stop, You know, you know Jeffrey gonna handle that real quick. Ish. But that's why I love Ish. this. Jeffrey gonna wrap that Ish. shit up. But that's why I love this storyline, because in beautiful comedy, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air world, that's why, why did it. none of us think that niggas was on fine-ass on mm-hmm. Viv, yo? Both of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but this one got him beat. I know there was that old argument in hip hop about, oh my God, the new on Viv versus the old on Viv. Well, let me tell you something. Remix on Viv? Yeah. The new, new on Viv? She ain't playing with them. Jazzy Jeff in there fucking looking for samples in the crates. <laughs> <laughs> nah, this, they, nah, they did this. They did this. Hey, they Jeffrey's a G. That's a, that's oh, no, Jeff, Jeffrey's Yo, look. Him. So if Michael Ely hit it, it would give us some realism. Hey, of today's society. Yo, wait, not up. for nothing. If Michael Ely hit it, remember in Fresh Prince, they had that little baby Nikki come out. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. In Fresh Prince, they had what? The little adopted the, the, boy named the Nikki. The little boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's about to stop, stop watching. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man. Yeah, I remember yeah. him, though. You want to nah, give us some realism, I right? I can't fuck with these shows. Oh, bro. man. See, good thing I wasn't an adult watching fucking different strokes, man. <laughs> <laughs> How y'all get these black kids? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, nobody ever said that. I know, but they adopted Willis or them. Yeah. <laughs> like, dumb. All right, let me say that. <laughs> hey, hey, Madonna did it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. This thing is stupid, yo. How y'all get Willis or them? <laughs> What's wrong with you, dog? Yeah, well, let's just go. Because like, I, I can stay on this forever. <laughs> hey, they and adopted two black niggas. And they, <laughs> and they just came in well behaved, huh? Or the bad that they tried to tell us was bad is what was the bad on the different strokes, right? Like if if what Mr. Drummond adopt like some kids from the hood who were without an opportunity and put them in that house with <laughs> his ninety year old ass and that white sister, they would be running a monkey. <laughs> <thing. laughs> that nigga Phil would have a heart attack. <laughs> That dumbass theme song with a chain fat. And the world is blue, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yo, that's not, yo, you stupid, yo. Stupid ass you Willis. Dumb. You the big brother. You wasn't even sneaking no fine, fine chicks in there. He wasn't doing nothing. Willis was a bum, yo. I was kidding. What happened so? You know, our white girl lover here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, our resident white girl lover. <laughs> it's, it's just that Ish LLC back at it again. Oh, man. <laughs> you was going to make step, stepsister porn back in the 80s? <laughs> you going to fuck your, the, the new sister in the house? <laughs> Not the only time. He, he definitely did it, too. Look at his face. Why it took She's Ted your real sister, why, right? why it took Ted dancing so long to beat and he owned the bar? <laughs> <laughs> who he beat? Shut up. <laughs> what do you mean who he beat? He beat anything. 
You know the one he had a cool thing. Yeah. <laughs> Nigga, pour some Henny, man. <laughs> if you don't get the Casamigos, it's your bar. Oh, man. She came in stunting on him. All right, come on. I'm done with this. Nigga, stupid, yo. I'm let's, done with this. Nah, on. this is funny, though. We're going to do this later. Oh, man. Because now that you've grown, a lot of that shit look different. No, all that shit It all look different. Tony, Tony Danza should have been pop fucking shorty yeah, and who's the boss. It shouldn't have took Jack Tripper. Jack Tripper. Listen. Jack Tripper ain't never pop. <laughs> Says, says their writers. <laughs> <laughs> says their writing room. Oh, man. They, they, can't never remake, they can't remake that one today. What? Nope. No way. Oh, if they did Bizarro. <laughs> Yo, they got a Bizarro some of these. <laughs> nah, we on to something. <laughs> Bizarro different strokes. What Willis and Arnold was really doing, yo. <laughs> so stupid, yo. What, how Jack Tripper was surviving without a job? He couldn't pay rent. What Jack did? Nothing. He was a housemaid. He was nah, a, he worked. What he worked at? I don't remember. He did something. And Jack was scooping him up at the Regal Beagle. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, who got play, play yeah. Superman? No, we leave it. No, 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 so he doing that because he that's how I tell you he been on your ass. Nah, and now he, I don't got, got none either. I don't got none either. I told you. Oh, that's I what he doing? You. I don't have one either. All right, your ish is that ish. <laughs> <laughs> LLC. I can't wait to see you at the meet and greets. <laughs> Hello? I'm talking to you. Okay. What they going to bring for ish to sign? Okay. Uh, ish going to be signing to this. Thesis. I want to see that when she already pull up. When she already pull up with her man and say, "Yo, I've been I'm such a huge fan of Potter. So much better since you've been here. Can you sign right here?" <laughs> nigga standing right there, breathing over you. Yo, be respectful, nigga. <laughs> Yo, all y'all, hey, nice. w- women that listen to the pods, boyfriends, don't y'all come here starting some shit with Ish, yo. <laughs> y'all come here and be peaceful and nice, man. If she chose, she chose. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hate the player, hate the game. That's it. That's it. Yo, be careful. Yo, you love the wrong, show too, right? Yo. <laughs> she, she put you on to the show. <laughs> yeah, you're giving us content. <laughs> content. Yo, this nigga so yo wait, they had poor Hillary couldn't even live in the content house without shaking some ass. <laughs> Dog, that's crazy. <laughs> I thought ice was gonna talk. No way. I thought ice was gonna. I tried to last time. week. No, That's no, I, I stopped it. We spoke to Peacock that same day. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It's a bad day. You niggas don't be know it was a bad day. Because they hey, heard the last pod. Uh, I got some sneakers for your guy, nigga. Y'all better pay cut a check. <laughs> Join some one your ass sneakers for the guys. I'm listening to the pod on the show or something real quick. Nah, oh. fuck that. Hey, y'all do that shit with them other yeah, podcasters that be happy to get five hundred dollars from McDonald's. Not I. Oh, it's man. McDonald's. <laughs> Imagine that. McDonald's call. <laughs> Yo, that's what be happening to creators out here. The biggest companies in the world call and say, hey, we ain't got but $600 for you. <laughs> You'd be like, I mean, but you, I've been eating McDonald's my whole life. The sign, the sign, the sign, the sign, the sign, the sign say y'all so seven. If y'all can't got but 400 for me. I had a McMuffin this morning. <laughs> Hey, y'all little content creators, I, I do what you got to do out there. But them oh. ads, <laughs> oh, you niggas is escorts, yo. Oh, you man. niggas is selling ass out there. They going to make this like I'm talking about only one person. Of course. <laughs> Dog. What, what you got? You got to do what you got to do. Do something strange. Not for McDonald's. <laughs> what <I> you need- <laughs> <laughs> we niggas got kids. McDonald's gonna be here for, give me free food for life before I'm taking a thousand dollars. Nigga, y'all made a thousand dollars in the last minute. Minute. You yeah, gotta do minute. something more for me. <laughs> <laughs> the little ten piece nugget won't cut it, yo. Bring the snack right back. Something. Uh, shit. <laughs> you ate that McRib, didn't you? No. You eat oink. And I do you eat oink. oink. I know you I'm had not a no, 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 no
Yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> what the fuck is, fuck is he talking about? He killed me with that one trying to shame me. Yeah, well, yes, no, no, not, I, I eat, I adore, love, can't can't live without. I'm following pages now that are showing you the whole pig cook, them gutting the shit, pulling the fuck. I used to work in a pig pen. Yes, I'm eating, I'm eating these niggas. They don't respect us when they in here. <laughs> yeah. You think pigs respect them? No, nigga. Nigga said, no, I don't eat oink. I love oink. Word is born. Ugh. What you eat? Fish. Chicken, right? Chicken fish. Chicken, Chicken fish. You the healthiest nigga I know and can't do 30 push-ups. I got 30 in me right now. Don't say that, nigga. You ain't got 30, I don't think. Stop Ooh. it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Silly Silly rabbit tricks are for kids. You might. You might not. Guess who don't? <laughs> <laughs> it's that oink. <laughs> You got 30. Yeah. I ain't done 30 in my whole life, probably. You lie. <laughs> Might be at 27 total. Oh, yeah, niggas is one hit a quitter in ice right out the middle. <laughs> gotta hit me. One hit. Yo. One hit to get him right out, the, hit the, hit right out the picture. <laughs> gotta hit me, homie. <laughs> Don't miss. Oh, man, yo. This is How do you miss a nigga with glasses? <laughs> How do you miss a crack right now? <laughs> <laughs> nigga, no, I see it coming. What the fuck you talking about? <laughs> All four of my hey, Word is born. Oh, I see you when you raise your hand up. I wish a nigga with glasses would give me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't miss it. Hey, come here. <laughs> you hear him, right? You hear him, Alex? <laughs> <laughs> yo, this nigga said, come here. <laughs> yo, you stupid, yo. Just one good. <laughs> All right, come on. All right, I'm done. I'm done. I don't have nothing. We good. I'm out of here. No sleepers? We, we playing sleepers. We playing oh, you sleepers. said I don't have nothing. No, no, I mean nothing else to talk about. Oh, I'm right. gonna fuck out of here. I'm on my lotto high. She was so great. Yeah, lotto. Great amazing. to meet people that are great, so you can root for them. Like versus them coming here being a dick. Now you gotta pray that they fail at every turn. <laughs> <laughs> or the other way, you'll be a fan of them and they come be a dick, and you like, oh man, now your music don't even hit the same no more. Oh yeah, now you shit like, trash for the yeah, rest of my podcast. Now it's like, come on, dog. <laughs> Every podcast you trash now. Nah, I don't care if you drop Benjamin. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I heard this before. You petty? I, I'll come up with a whole new hate. Yo, this sound like, you know, <laughs> you just didn't put your all in. You wasn't inspired. Uh, stupid. <laughs> No, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> he wasn't inspired, though. Oh. He was not inspired. That's some sick hate. That was, that's some sick ass hate, bro. <laughs> that's such a great album, too. Yes. Uh-huh. That's why I was mad at you, man. Uh, man. They'll fuck it up. They'll just sit and come back years later. That's ass asleep, man. <laughs> Shut up, Drake. <laughs> you hear him? That nigga is so spicy. <laughs> What's that line? He said that? Yeah, he said something yeah. like that. Give him a class and they'll come around a couple of years later and say it was a sleeper. <laughs> Keep it up. Keep it up. <laughs> chill, 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 chill. Because you know what? I still go back to uh, whatever that 4 p.m. and whatever that Calabasas. was where he let he's letting hope. I mean, I hope. Uh, Puff. Puff have it. And, and, and me. That's one of the greatest distracts of all time, yo. It is. I don't care what nobody say. I don't care what nobody say. <laughs> all you sub promoters are janky. <laughs> <laughs> We established like the Yankees your whole careers. What'd he say? The whole entire game thing. <laughs> Moving Miller. <laughs> Wait, I'm not listening to this because I'm going to get mad. I'm out. I want to thank you gentlemen for an amazing pod. Yo, careful. Oh, no, no, I'm chilling. <laughs> right, you chilling. Good? No, I'm good now. I'm good now. Right. Hey. Yo, another thing. What the fuck is you niggas talking? I'll be outside, nigga. Hey, buddy. Hey. Oh, man. Yo, this is why I can't listen to the young niggas, yo. They'll put that young nigga energy in you. Yes. You go outside and fucking shoot somebody by mistake. <laughs> get your face knocked off. <laughs> hey. Nerve style speech, huh? Listen, no. The universe is funny because, in this record, if you know, you know. But anyway, the universe put me in the same exact situation one year later to see how I would handle it. You do it better. Progressive. Yeah. Only gave him a little, a little suck my dick to the album. And it chilled out. And I'm still chilling. Look, Zinjamin Button, Public's Enemy, we here, yo. <laughs> I don't even know hate no more. Wait a minute! Hey! Even that, like, when your mom learned she was a stepper. Like, she didn't know. She didn't know you was a stepper. Mom found condoms, guns in your room. <laughs> she found mad drugs in your room. Mom was like, oh, I raised you. <laughs> you raised a fucking stone cold. <laughs> 
Oh, no, I got to turn Dirk down. Yeah, yeah, please. Yo, listen, keep us in your prayers. Keep Dirk in your prayers. Keep all the rappers, everybody in your prayers. Lord knows we all need to be there. Uh, rest in peace, John Clayton. Until the next time, we bid you adieu. Farewell. Adios. Arrivederci. Hasta la vista. Au revoir. So long. Goodbye. And do remember, life is a standing over somebody's body. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> remember, life is a series of moments and moments pass. So let's make this one last as if it's all that we have. And lastly, the baddies are insecure. The stagnant women want to travel. The closed-minded women want you to teach them things. And the broke women want rich niggas. That's not about Lotto, by the way. <laughs> Had to turn my thug up on these niggas, yo. Look what they made me do, yo. Can't even tell where the hate comes. Y'all hold it down. Have a good week. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this. Remember, we are on tour. See y'all in Houston, Dallas, L.A., Oakland. Go cop them tickets. Whoa. JoeButtonPodcastTour.com. <laughs> And we are gone. No, 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 no,